uh, we want a lot of young athletes to hear this conversation like this what you're saying because we would talk about the whole ball is life concept yeah and this whole <laughs> like, no it ain't my life <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm sorry I'm just not I love it getting caught up on that like because you know you see people like I was I see people who stopped playing football for some time now or been graduated and they still talking about like that or this and that it's like, <laughs> it's like man what you doing you know what I'm saying it's probably right like, now, right, right, now. Right, right. that's how I'm thinking that ain't like I ain't that crazy but like right. you know what I'm saying like not me right. not me that just and I thank God for that man I'm glad I didn't feel like that was all I could do or all I had yep, you know right, what I'm saying yep, like yep. I always feel like it was something else like I could do whatever like Yeah, we back. Yes, sir. What's good? What's good? What's good? This is the Evergreen Pod. Uh, we're here. We call it Evergreen because it's not stuck to any specific time, but it's always good. It's always real, and it's always relevant to whatever time you are listening to this. This is the Evergreen Pod. I'm here. My name is DM. I'm here with my host, my co-host Dante. You good, Dante? I'm good, baby. How what's are you? What's good, Don? This thing right quick. Doug in this thing. What up, Doug? What's up, man? Should I call you Darry or Doug? Yeah. I don't know. What you call him? What you call him? Doug. You call him Doug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. 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 Doug. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I don't know who to pick when I play the game. <laughs> I'm playing. They got they got LSU, Alabama. They you know these they got top teams, and I'm going to go grab uh, Bowling Green because I, <laughs> because I like the colors. Or I go. I was playing with Clemson back then and stuff. Like I, I like Clemson colors. You like it was college football. Yeah, like, yeah, the college yeah, football. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, but like them boys, like they was into it. They was heavy into it. Like I would go to camps and stuff. Like you know, it wasn't me that was wanting to go to the campus. Like my older brother's going, so my right. parents was like. Well, Kendall got to go to the camp too. Take your brother. Both, we got to send both. We got to send both of y'all. Right, since, you, know, up, you ain't sitting up in here. And like I say, I always could. Like I, man, I could play. Like and I'm very competitive. Like I love to win. So, uh, like man, like I got that's that was like the thing for me with football. Man, like I. I just I love I wanted to win. Right. I wanted to win. Like I love to win or whatever. Like I don't know all the the history and all yeah, the you right. know the ends. Right. But man, when they come to playing, you know like play. I'm a, I'm a player. Like I, I'm that's it. That's, that's me. That's what's yeah, up. Yeah, and man. I always could. I was always pretty good. Like I said, that's what's up, man. So it's more of a competitive edge with you. Like uh, yeah, it's not it's not a it's not yeah. the real technical things. It about ain't the technical the things. Nah, nah, and I think. <clears throat> Well, we'll get into. We might get into it, but I think that's kind of what. About it, yeah, I'm yeah like, like I, I think that was kind of like the thing. Like people didn't, like they didn't see. Because I used to have even my roommates, my homeboy, one of my best friends, Ricky Jefferson. He's like, he's always messing me. Like, Beck, do you love you love football? You love the game? This and that. You know what I'm saying? I was like, man, I, I love football, whatever. But it's like. Maybe not how you, maybe how not how y'all, you know, right. kind of, you know, I don't know all the ins and outs, and I don't sit and sit around and I don't watch it, like I don't watch it like wow. that. So, but when it come to plan, like right. I'm ready, ready and ready I'm roll. gonna know my stuff and I'm gonna know what to do. I'm a, you know, what I'm saying I'm a study a little film. I was getting better with studying film. Right, right, I wasn't right. the best. Uh, Tape guy, right, 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 right. Because <laughs> like I say, man, I just, it, man. I just play, man. I like, right, I right. like, I used to love to play, and like, I just, right. just find the ball. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I think it's, <laughs> it's, it's instinct too, man. No I, instinct. We yeah, gonna get yeah, into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah, we yeah, gonna yeah, yeah, talk yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, we will. I can talk will. about some stuff. We will. But we that's kind of how it all. I mean, that's how it all got started. Like we was a, I mean, I would say we was a football family, and it was around and shoot. I mean, I used to. What I used to do was when I was a kid. So my first love was horses. So. Mm-hmm. What I used to do was I used to get my cousins when they used to all try to get us everybody trying to you know get their teams together. We about to go outside and play football. It's like Kendall don't want to go. Kendall in here playing with these horses, and y'all come play with me first before yeah. I go outside and play football. Uh, so they used uh, to have to come play horses with me. <laughs> then I'll go outside <laughs> and play football with them. That's and, it, that's it, right. that's and I used to be out there killing them. Oh, <laughs> right, 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 right. You know, I was I was legit. Like, I was I could do it. So. Yeah, it's kind of happened. We always good though. We always like for people watching this and listening to this, uh, take us on a field trip. So we all gonna pile up in your truck mm-hmm. and we are gonna drive mm-hmm. to Clinton, Louisiana. Yeah, yeah. Tell us and what Clinton meant to you and means to you to this day, and how it made you the man that you are today. Yeah, yeah. man. Clinton mean everything to me, man. Um, just, I mean, all because it's such a small, like, I'm talking about very, if you thinking about a small area right now, think about probably even a little bit smaller because, I mean, Clinton is all, like, I looked up the the, uh, the amount of people that live there, and it was, like, maybe 1,600 or something like wow. that, and that was in, like, I think that was going back to, like, 2016, 2017 or something like that. It was, like, a very, very small amount of people, and, um... I mean, everybody pretty much know everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, it's no stoplights. I mean, while well, we got a stop sign, so you drive wow. through the, you come into the little town of Clinton, <laughs> you just riding and you're going to hit a caution light. You're going to hit that caution light and that'll be your only light you'll see in the town. And right. shoot, you could be in and out in the blink of an eye. It's very small. I mean, and I, I live on the outskirts of Clinton, so I live like, even further, yeah, you know, yeah. like, so, yes, you do. So literally, like literally, you got the yeah. small town of Clinton, and um, you got the small town of Clinton, and I'm probably about 15 minutes outside of that town or Yeesh. whatever. And um, I'm like, you driving up a high highway, and you're going like, you may miss the turn, you know, because it's like literally, like, it's right. like a little hole uh, in the like, I right. It's very country. It's a country place. Um, <laughs> we live deep out. We live in the country, and uh, man, it's. I mean, I can't say like enough about it. It's very like peaceful. It. Yeah, very say, peaceful. Yeah, very yeah. peaceful yeah. place. If I can't right. Right, yeah. say right. the least, very peaceful yeah. place. Man, I love Clint. Yeah, man. Yeah. Did you feel like okay. slower way of living? Yeah, very much slower way of living. Right, 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 so we, we, I'm gonna transition. I'm gonna go straight straight to high school. Um, obviously, you attend East Feliciana in Clinton. 
and you start making a name for yourself in high school, um, people start to know who you are. And mm-hmm. so now going to your senior year, we actually started your sophomore year as a quarterback, mm-hmm. um, where who is this kid who's six foot two, 250 pounds playing quarterback and ridic- run? That's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. In high school, I just want to say that. Yeah. yeah. You said six two two fifty. 250? I went 250 then. I was I got up to about 225, 230. Kendall, stop, In high school. Stop, stop. You look and when I got to video. LSU, man, you know, I'm going to tell, I'm, I'm gonna tell Kendall, you. When we get to I'm college, not- I'm going to tell you what I'm gonna tell you what happened. <laughs> Kendall, first off, first off, he's acting like... <laughs> 230 I was in First high. off You want 230 in high school I was, I was, you was, you was right at 230 Kendall I really don't You probably right <laughs> Yeah I know Cause Kendall, you, I, it, wasn't, it ain't like I was weighing myself I just know Like one of the last times I weighed myself I was like 220 But you But you know what the man. secret was you, you carried it You carried it well See you was 240 right. But you yeah. looked 220 yeah. Yeah. That's, 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 that probably would have been That's the key man Yeah that Definitely That's the key, bro. bro. So, like, being being having that that spotlight on you and uh, being an uh, Under Armour All American, being on TV and being publicized the way you were, um, did you feel any extra pressure coming from a small town? Did you feel like uh, everything was right on you to to be successful in what you were doing because you had so many people, even young kids, looking up to you? Mm-hmm. Like, was that was that pressure coming because you you the star? Mm-hmm. First of all, yeah. you the star. In Louisiana, mm-hmm. all right, everybody around the country knew you. You were highly recruited, mm-hmm. but now you come from a small town with sixteen hundred people. How did you handle that um, and, and stay and stay the course? And like, did you feel the extra pressure to to achieve greatness? No, no, not not really. Um, man, I just kind of did my thing, man. Like I I was just letting it letting it play out how it play out. Like uh, I didn't really, I didn't feel no really no real extra pressure. Like I just, I mean. I just, I mean, I expect the best from myself or whatever. So it's all about my expectations. Like, I'm not really concerned. Like, I was trying to make my mind, I would say I was trying to probably see smiles on my parents' faces or whatever, you know, mm-hmm. with them being able to come to games and experience that with me or whatever. But other than immediate family, you know, I wasn't, I didn't feel like, you no, know, like I had to, like, being a small town kid. I wasn't even thinking, like, I, I wasn't thinking about how small of the town was I was coming from at the time. Like, right. Man, I was just playing. Like, mm. I was literally just playing and letting it have, uh, fall in place how it fall in place. Like, really. So, I, I got a question leading off of that. So, when – okay, so freshman year, you come in freshman year. What you playing? What, what position you playing freshman year? Freshman year at high, in high school? Yeah. In high school, freshman year, I was playing um, DN and quarterback. Cause, see, now, that's what I'm talking about. Play because DN I, quarterback. I, don't, I don't see – that's new for me. Even when you say – I've been play. a quarterback. I was a quarterback all, like, literally – like that's the position that I played. Wow. I never liked it. Right. I never liked quarterback, <laughs> but, but I, I always got stuck. At, I was good right. at quarterback, I, yeah, I so I had to play quarterback. And, and I, yeah, I would have put. I would put you at quarterback. Too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. But so, uh, that, so it was weird for me because I've seen different guys. We talked about different guys, parallel one guys, different guys. But I always would see somebody playing quarterback, and mm-hmm. I see him play something like safety mm-hmm. or like corner. But when he said quarterback and linebacker, I was like, "Yo, like yeah. that's new." And then you just said D N. Yeah, I was a D N. You know, I was D N first before a linebacker. Like even even when I got to um, LSU, they tried to like move my position to defensive end. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Yeah, like I had never played linebacker like that, bro. I, I only oh. played like I probably played. Linebacker twice in high school that's, in the game, nuts, maybe. That's nuts, like I didn't really know like linebacker. I didn't know coverages. Like I didn't know. That's crazy. I didn't know. I didn't know defense. Like, I knew how to rush. Right. I knew how to rush. Right. Right. I knew how to. If I did get a linebacker, I would stand up and I find the ball. You mm-hmm. know yep. what I'm saying? Right. And yep. you know, otherwise, I mean, I, I was like I, said, I was a quarterback first wow. in high school, and that's what I got recruited. That's what LSU offered me as as a quarterback. Oh, word, word. Okay. Yeah, they offered me as a quarterback, and it was like you know. That was back in uh, when uh, Jordan was there uh-huh. or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I would go to practices and they would, you know, walk me out on the field, you know, showing me like the zone read stuff and like all the stuff that Jordan would be doing. I'm like, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, man, I do not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to tell them this, but I do not want to play no quarterback. Man. Like, like, I want to play defense, man. Right. I, I felt like I was always defensive minded, like right. at the end of the day. Like I was always like the aggressor. So I felt like I wanted to play defense, like not. Quarterback, I knew that was gonna come with a lot, lot of pressure. Mm-hmm. Like I knew that was gonna come with like a lot, even more pressure. Yeah, now you know, high school and college is totally, totally Especially different. Way that, different. That college, way, <laughs> yeah, 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 way different, way different. And um, 
So yeah, man, that's kind of how that uh went. Uh, so so East Louisiana is is what two, when you were there it was two two A three A. It was um it was two A my freshman year and sophomore year. Then we went to three A. Okay, yeah, so we went to three A. So that, so I mean when you when you thinking about it like. I mean, that's not too far fetched when you think about the size of your team, size right. of the you know size of the population right. of the school, size, and the yeah. size, and, and you know how many people, how many kids come out and actually you know play football and are actually you know good mm-hmm. enough to be on the field. Uh, so so yeah, I, I can I can totally understand you know that aspect of you know playing offense and defense and mm-hmm. where you know you had to you had to put you around the ball. So. Yeah, I'll do it right. I know right. I want to play. I, I always feel like I wanted to play like. I didn't feel like I wanted to get stuck with my hand in the ground. Yeah. So like that would, that would made me want to play linebacker because I'm like, you know, at defensive end, even though I could do it, you know, I was like, man, I'm, I don't really like having to like. It's kind of boring. It's kind of repetitive. Mm-hmm. Like I want to be able to make mm-hmm. plays. Like, move I, around. I kind of always saw myself as a DB man. Like, <laughs> I ain't lying. Like, oh, like I don't care how big. Like you know, I, can you imagine? I was small, man. I, I was small. Like I felt like I was could move. Like you know, yeah, I would. I wouldn't. I, I, honestly, Ken, if you play DB, bro, and I was a receiver, man. I'm not. I'm not. That's right. Doing warm ups. This this my take. I'm take, I'm taking my take yeah. off. I'm gonna tie my cleats. Yep, you know it. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I'm good. I'm, I'm going. This game. I'm going. I'm going tailgate. But I'm, saying, <laughs> so, so tailgate. but I'm saying, man, McKenna might have been thinking ahead because I mean, yeah. you're looking at the wide receivers like yeah. DK Metcalf. Yeah. yeah, like that's yeah. the kind of yeah. like you are gonna need somebody six <laughs> two two thirty to, to go. Real, on. That's true. <laughs> that's, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Man, when, when did it when did it hit you? And Doug might be about to ask. I'm just talking. We just shooting it. When did it hit you that and we we asked this question to I think uh, we asked the Fave we asked the to Glenn when did it kind of hit you that is like and I know you were saying you kind of letting it fall but was it a time that it hit you and it was kind of like hold on man I got something here like this mm. I probably can like really take this you know what I'm saying to the league was it was the league always a goal Mm-mm. or was it or, or was it you know what I'm saying so did it hit so you even like, even when I was young like I remember coming up in like you know great you know. Fourth, fifth grade, like when teachers used to ask what you want to be, and a lot of my friends would say football players, NFL, and I was like, no, like I'm not, I'm, a, I want to be a veterinarian. Wow. Like I, I want to, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it because wow. I love animals. Yeah, I right, knew right, I right, love right. animals first. Right, right, right. And so I was like, man, I used to always say that I was gonna be a veterinarian, and uh-huh. like even when I started getting recruited. I got looked into the veterinarian school. Mm. I didn't know that you had to be in school that long. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh yeah, oh yeah. So they that kind of so that kind of went out the window. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I'm like, ah, I, ain't, I don't know about <laughs> seven yeah. years. Uh-uh. Yeah, they, they, they treat you like I don't oh, know, but um, but that kind of went out the window. But uh, <laughs> yeah, like I never, I didn't want to. I don't know. It's like it's almost like I was like I didn't want to get too caught up. I never wanted to be that that person to be like, man, I'm going to lead. Like I got it. Mm-hmm. I got to get to the NFL. I was like, man, if it's, it happened, it's Let's gonna go. happen. Let's do it. You know, right, otherwise, right. like you know, I'm gonna whatever. You know, however it go, right, however right, it go. Right, right. Like I'm rolling to the wheels. Yeah, with it, right? Yeah. So yeah. I wish that I wish that mindset a lot of athletes had. Right. I, I, I wish that was the mindset a lot of athletes did have right now. Currently, right. Mm-hmm. Um, you you may not remember this, but I remember a specific conversation. So when you get to LSU. Um, you you start probably in the middle of your sophomore year full time linebacker, mm-hmm. and now when they insert you as a starter, the whole dynamics of the defense change. I can remember uh, the Ole Miss game. Mm-hmm. It was the, okay. Now we have we have our inside linebacker, mm-hmm. and so after the sophomore season, I, mean, I was on campus. I don't know what for, and I called you. I said, "Kendall, you on campus?" I said, yeah, I'm on campus. So I went to see you at your apartment, and you were we were talking, and he was like, "He's like, yeah, Doug. He's like, you know." He was talking about I can go to NFL. I'm, I'm like, what? The NFL? I ain't think about no NFL. Wow. And so I think a lot can be said from that. Absolutely. Like, and I wish I had that mentality. Yeah. Like where like where did that come from? And that, that mentality where because you're extremely talented, extremely mm-hmm. gifted. You mm-hmm. knew you had the ability to play in the NFL, which you did, but where did that mindset come from? Like, I'm gonna be successful if with it, or I'm gonna be just as successful without it. Um where did it come from? I didn't want to. It's just that, that that thing of like somebody feeling like I don't I don't ever want to feel like I could only do one thing or I'm just just like this is me this is what I'm doing like no I would I like the idea of being a multi talented a multi you know all around type person of yeah, I love you know it. I don't want to mm-hmm. and I, I can't say that I was like thinking like that but it's just like man like I didn't I just well I was thinking like that but I'm just like I, I'm saying like my, maybe not as far as 
as I'm saying now, but like I just knew that man, like it's more out there for me to do. Like it's more no boxes. You know what I'm saying? Like no matter what, like it's just as long as you got breath in your body, it's some for you to be doing or some you have some type of purpose. It's Mm -hmm. something. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you, you have different seasons of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So you got this. You got this season while you know you might be doing this thing or you doing that and it's like stuff you got to be ready to change man you you can't stay stagnant you know what I'm saying like you got to be you got to I'm I'm willing to change with the change you know what I'm saying like I'm like however it come like I'm willing to make adapt you right. know basically you right, know right, so right. Yeah, I love that. And I, I always, I always shout you out, Doug. I mm-hmm. shout you out, Dante, too, because you're working with athletes. And this is one of the main cogs of Evergreen, too, that I be wanting, uh, we want a lot of young athletes to hear this conversation mm-hmm. like this, what you're saying. Because we would talk about, um, the whole ball is life concept. Yeah. And this whole. <laughs> no, it ain't my life. Did you get it? So right. I just, it's real. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Getting caught up on that, like, Cause you know you see people like I was I see people who like been they've been stopped playing football even in you know in the town of Clinton like they've been stopped playing football for some time now or been graduated and they still talking about like that or this and that but it's, like, it it's like man what you doing you know what I'm saying it's kind of right like what now, you doing right, now right, 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 right. you know that's that's how I'm thinking like you know and I, it's like man I don't that ain't like I ain't that crazy about like right. you know what I'm saying like not me. Right. Not me. That's just, and I thank God for that, man. Like, I yes. ain't lying because it's like, I don't know. I don't know how it would be if I was like, nah, you know, just one of the people to where like, this is like, I feel like, I'm glad I didn't feel like that was all I could do or all I had. Yep, you know right, what I'm saying? Yep, like, yep. I always feel like it was something else. Like, I could do whatever. Like, and I love horses. So if you take horses away, how we got <laughs> oh, you talk right. about horses like going extinct. Right. <laughs> then we got a conversation. I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah. that might be bringing on a different, like, you know what I'm saying? Conversation. Because, right. like I say, that was just my, well, give it up, just my little thing. Like, <laughs> right. Yeah. But yeah, I like that idea because, because it, 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 it opens up the door. I think so many people get let down, you know, mm-hmm. in the long run. I mean, even if you have a long career mm-hmm. in whatever sport, you still going to be 30, you 35 gotta, yeah. at the best. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I mean, Tom Brady done pushing it 40, you know what I'm saying? But, like, that's extraordinary cir- circumstances. You know, then you have your, that's your whole life. You still are, you still young. Yeah, you got a lot more life to live. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So, so I love it, man. I would tell Doug that, too, when he's working with those athletes. Um, that to pump that in their mind that ball ain't like we used to hit that when we was younger, man. Mm, yeah, like, like ball is like <laughs> yeah. you gotta go outside and shoot ball in the yeah. rain. But see, you know that's how saying? I feel like my when I talk about my older brother and my older cousins. Like, man, them boys, they love the game. Right, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, like right. they, they this is they like like that that meant everything to them. Like I'm going like I say like I'm just happy to go to the camp. With right, them, right, like right, you know, right, what I'm right, saying, right, I'm right, not right. expecting to win uh-huh. MVP. I'm not trying to go win, right, 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 right. but it's like, shoot, they just recognize, and you know, is. what I'm doing over right. here, and it's just like they <laughs> MVP. That's amazing. You know what right. I'm saying? It's like I'm not even. I'm just happy to be here with my big brother. Like <laughs> right. I'm having fun. Right, right, we right. staying up late. Right. You know what I'm saying? Throwing grapes around, whatever right. we was doing. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, man, it's like I wasn't, and I just never got caught up on like the, you know, like the. Like man, you this or you that or you don't, like nah, like I, you know, it's always been me trying to prove something to myself. Like man, I ain't, I, I was still working on a celebration because it's like I was just like I'm doing my thing. Like I, it's like normal. It's like no, I'm supposed to do this. Like I'm right, like right, when right, I make right. a play or I mm-hmm, do something on the mm-hmm, field. Like yep. ever since high school, it's like nah, this is why I'm, right. I'm supposed to do this. Like I'm thinking about the next play. I'm trying to do something. So that's where the that's where the thing where it's like oh you had like. You not as passionate about the game. You do you love the game? When they told all this you that, stuff. They were saying that to you. Yeah, people like this, even when I got to the NFL, like they like that was like the thing about me. Um, it actually, Coach Mafia called me during the like um before the draft. Mm-hmm. He's like, "Big man, where where you at? Like, what you?" I'm like, "Um, I'm like, what's up, Coach? I'm I'm over here by the mall, whatever." He's like, "Man, you might need to go uh, rob a bank. You might need to go to a bar and start a fight or something because these <laughs> these um recruits, these people coming in here, they keep asking about." What is it like? It got to be some with him. Like, what is it? What is it with him or whatever? Like, he, <laughs> it got to be something. It's They're like, looking man, for he, something. He, 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 Coach oh, Bobby, man. like, man, I, I don't know what to tell him, Beck. I mean, maybe you should go start a fight or something. That must be what they're looking for because it's like nothing. Like, they don't, it's like they just fishing. They steady fishing. And I'm like, man, I, 
Right. You know me, honey. I'm just chilling. I'm I'm super. I guess I'm super laid back. Yeah. yeah. You know they were they was pointing out plays on the field. Like they'll be like, yeah, you see your teammate caught a pick over here, and it was actually it actually was a play where I got hurt and I just wasn't showing it. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I'm just jogging off the field, got a stanger like a mug. Like I'm right. like, <laughs> <laughs> can't feel my can't feel my arm. Like yeah, we did just catch a pick right. or whatever. But it's like I think I that was an get... Alabama game when Jamal caught that pick, mm-hmm. and uh, they was like, yeah, you kind of um, I'm like, man, I'm yeah, like, yeah, I think like, you I, I was like I was hurting or whatever. Right, like, right, right, right. Or they'll be, you know, just this stuff. Like, yeah, you don't seem too excited. It's like, man, nah, cause I'm honestly, I'm probably thinking. I'm thinking about the next play. I'm thinking about, you know, what I could have did better. What I'm doing. You know, what I'm saying. I'm thinking about the game. Like, I'm not worried about no celebrate. Like, right. that, that wouldn't. I just, I didn't. When your mo work? Right? Nah, right. I ain't never get good at that. I was working on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was working on it. But like I said, man, I just like I could do it, man. I just. Took off with it like I, I don't know. That, but that's that, that's like a gift within itself. It was yeah, because yeah. what no, happened? When, I, when he's talking about it, I feel like it I was. feel inspired about yes, it. Yes, I do too. The humility of it because, and I'm learning this now. I'm learning this. Mm-hmm. I'm, you know, in my thirties, I'm learning this mm-hmm. now that a lot of times your path is is best driven. When you're when you're not focused on just one thing mm-hmm. and you're kind of letting life come out of it, yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, but that's hard because we don't learn that. Yeah. We don't learn that. I mean, even right. from school, declare your major, right? You know what I'm saying? Or, or you know what are you, what are you going to be? You right. got to know what you're going to be by the time you're in eleventh grade. Like, dude, I'm sixteen. No, man, I'm not. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. But it, but it's that type of thing. And to even hear it with the levels of success that you you experience, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's just it's just good to hear that he was like, and he was definite. He was like, nope. <laughs> like I wouldn't even think about it. Like nope, nah, I wouldn't like, even. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and, and I and I, I feel the feel the humility. Mm-hmm. And you know mm-hmm. you're talking about humility, but this. And I, I don't no. be trying to sound like I don't be trying to want to come off like oh like man you acting like you don't care like you right right oh, right man right. I'm telling you yeah straight up I really exactly <laughs> like my thought process I'm telling you everything like yes I'm a competitor I right. like I love to compete right I love to win right well, that was my thing right like, but. Right. All the other stuff, and as far as watching football, uh, watching a bunch of sports, uh, right? Like you can ask my fiance. I'm out. Out. We, man. She know I'm not stunning. I ain't, I don't. <laughs> I don't sit around and watch it. Like if right. I'm not playing, right? Like, so you you, I'm watch, you don't watch ball now. You don't, you watch you know. man. Like when big games would come on, watch them, and man. with my family be getting together for the games, hmm. I'd be outside with them horses. I'd be outside doing something. I would never. I could never make it through a full game. Yeah, or mm-hmm. just watching a. I could, man, no. My friends, my home, my best, <laughs> my best friend, my friends come back to school, um, talking about the game or talking about what happened, uh, you know, Saturday with this rivalry or that rivalry or this big game or whatever. And like, they used to know that, man, back, like, man, you don't know, you know, I used to like, it got to the point to where like they knew, like, I would be, you know, bull stuffing because, like I just chime in on the conversation just to make it like I know, no, but I just feel like so. <laughs> right. I did not know. I did not know what was going on. You know what I'm saying? I didn't. Only way I knew what was going on with recruiting and stuff is because, like, you know, but that was like I would see different guys at places or whatever. Mm-hmm. But uh-huh. even with the recruiting process, I was like, man, I'm either going to Alabama, I'm going to LSU. That's it. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. So whenever people called, it's like thank you or whatever. But I wasn't interested in going to their campus or whatever. And um, like I said, Clemson was one of my favorite teams, and they did offer me, and they offered me to come on a visit and stuff, and I didn't go. And I, because I was like, man, I already know I'm going. That's Clemson too far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like Clemson before that I learned right, that it was right, in South right. Carolina. Like, I, right, right. That's another thing with coming out of small town. Like, yeah. Clemson's like, man, I did. I wasn't. Yeah, you know um, everything at, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't for like going off to, you know, school somewhere far away. You right, know, right. like I was. Like I said, it was going to be between Alabama and LSU, and I kept it like that all the way. And they always recruiting you quarterback? Yeah, them, well, them, no, I think Alabama kind of was, they was recruiting me more so as a defensive player because they, okay. you know, they felt like I was going to play defense. Like, so with the 250 thing, you know how you said mm-hmm. I was 250 in high school? So I, I think I was like 220 gonna, something. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say I was 220 something in high school. You, 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 you were 220, but you were 240. That, right. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> over, that, over that time, over that little time before, you know, you getting ready to go to school or whatever. And I, um, well, no, before that. So back before I made my decision or whatever, and I was on a visit at Alabama and I was talking to Saban and he was like, he's like, yeah, man, we probably we'll get you up to 250 easily or whatever. And I'm like, man, when I left out there, I told him, I told him, I'm like, Dad, you heard it? I'm like, you talking about some 250. <laughs> 
I'm like, mm-hmm. that nigga said 250. And I think I, I did weigh like 218 at that camp. Now, that was like, yeah. that was my junior year of high school. Mm-hmm. So, that mm-hmm. was, but um, I was like, man, 250. I was like, no way. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Man, I got to, so fast forward, make a decision, go to LSU, stay at home. So, I'm like, if I win a championship, I'm winning it in Louisiana. And, uh, man, I, first day, getting on the scale, I was like 256. Oh, wow. And I'm like, oh. I was like, <laughs> man, I was so hurt, man. I'm like, man. This is just like, I didn't understand. Like I said, I wasn't weighing myself that often. And so, right. we didn't weigh ourselves a lot in high school and nothing like that. So, right. you know, when I see my weight, I see my weight. But I never seen... I never seen nothing over two thirty in high school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when I got on that scale and it said two fifty six, like I kind of, I got, I think I got right, got off and I got back on. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I'm talking that was a rough, that was a rough <laughs> day. That was a rough day because you got to think I'm in a, I'm in a linebacker room. I'm in here with um Duke Riley, yeah, Quan Alexander, yep. Deion Jones, Lamar Lewis, Whew. Ronnie Feast. Um, yes. who else was in there? I had a couple more boys in there, whatever. Um, but like I said. Like, I'm the only one in here weighing 256. These right. boys 220. Right. Yeah. They like, yeah. you know, they the coach Fine. getting on them about their weight, about being too light. Right. You know, but shoot, they was on me about losing weight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's, that's where the thing came in for me moving the defensive end mm-hmm. yeah. or whatever. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, shoot, you just as heavy as our defensive ends. You do, I was the biggest linebacker. Yeah. At LSU yeah, at the so, time, so. and that was not the norm. That was not um, the thing at right. the time. Like I was in a room with a lot of smaller people, but I, I held my own. Right, right, right. He held my own. <laughs> he definitely I held did. my own. Yeah, I kept. That, that, I, was, I was able to keep up. Like it was never a problem. Like even though I was heavier or whatever, like I was never like out of shape. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I was always able to <clears throat> keep up. Like it wasn't like I was getting left behind with these guys. Like yeah, they might be in front of me a little bit. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, but right. I, I'm right here. You right. know, and I was always. You know, I made it That's happen. Crazy. Like they moving the defensive end, and then they move me back. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm, I'm actually, they gave me the opportunity to move back because they was like, "Well, we're gonna try you out at defensive end, <laughs> and if you don't like it, you can move back." So I'm like, "All right." So I was. They know I ain't like defensive end. Right, yeah. Right. So you know, they they had did made my own little package for me and stuff. My freshman year had me going out there rushing and stuff. I made a play <laughs> uh-huh. against Florida. Uh huh. And uh, had me rushing. But as soon as stuff. after the season, <laughs> had me rushing. Had me stuff. rushing. Yeah. Stuff. <laughs> so as soon as after the season, I was like, was um, I was like, man, coach, y'all, I still can move back to linebacker or whatever. And um, it's like yeah, like if that's what you you know. So I moved back to linebacker, and that was it. Yeah. Right. Took off from there. How did you move from? Because you said the recruiter. I got a lot of questions. He recruited from quarterback, <laughs> mm-hmm. for quarterback, and the defensive player. How did you get the quarterback thing out of there? Like, so I told. Kind of- so I told. Um, I think, like I said, I think Alabama kind of knew, and I told the coaches at LSU. I was like, yeah, coach. Um, I don't think I want to play no quarterback though. I, I want to oh, play. Told him. Okay, yeah, yeah right, I, right, I want to. Right, I was like, man, I want to play defense or whatever. They're like, oh, you want to play defense? Like, that's cool. You can play defense or whatever. Right, so right, I'm like, all right. I mean, and that's what the whole thing. I remember there, huh? you know, I started, like, talking to Chief. And, yeah. um, you know, Chief used to be showing me, like, he started showing me, like, highlights of people. Like, uh, I think Taj Jones was there at the time. Yeah. Like, he was, like, a uh, strong side linebacker and stuff. They're like, yeah, this kind of what we think about you doing and this and that. You know, and sometimes that linebacker rushed, too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That 4-3 right. or whatever. Right, right, so, right. Um, all that stuff came about, and um, shoot, I don't. I'm trying to think how the middle linebacker thing came up, but some type of way I got behind um, DJ Welton, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and because I don't think we had no other middle linebackers. I mean, DJ is probably the next heaviest person um, besides myself. And right. shoot, uh, man, I made. I knew I didn't know that defense. <laughs> I, didn't, I gotta say, this is my first time. Like I'm coming so from funny. coming from high school, coming from high school, playing quarterback. Right. You know, it's so funny to me. Playing high, yeah. playing quarterback, getting it, rushing so at now, the end. So I don't know coverages. I don't know nothing about a defense. Like I don't know nothing about. Okay. Like none of that. that like so. Okay. So I get there. Hold on. And like, hold on. Hold on. I gotta that's learn. Okay. This is my first time learning deep. Like learning. A, I know. I knew like the basic. Right. I mean, if I had to draw it out, I wouldn't draw it out right. Probably right. in high school, if I had to draw out like right. cover three, right. if I had to write out cover three in high school. I knew I wouldn't have drew it up. Right. Okay. You know, not the coverage part of it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. 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 Like so, th- like I said, it's my first time. Like when I got to um, LSU, this is my first time learning defense. Like. Right. Legit defense. My first time really playing linebacker. Okay. Yeah. So when I first man, I remember, man, like I had that that moment where it's like, 
because we had like this drill or whatever. It's like three down linemen. They had the center, the guard, guard, uh-huh. and you'd be the only linebacker, and right. they'll like hand the ball off, and you just kind of – it's like the warm-up before practice, so we're just, you know, we're just fitting up, but we, you know, we got to take on these linemen and, you know, get mm-hmm. off. All right. And see, I ain't really understand all that, and I ain't understand <laughs> like, man. And I tell you, it was either Trey Turner or Gerald Hawkins, man. And yeah. them boy, that that boy came off that ball, <laughs> and I went down. And I'm thinking, I'm you know, I'm still feeling like I'm strong. Right. You know, I'm still feeling like you know, and I, uh, and man, my head, my head went to rain, and I like it just felt like I hit like a wall, <laughs> like I hit a wall right there. And I'm like, man. Man, I don't this know if this line. This I don't know if this line. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, right. I don't know if the linebacker thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, so, but I'm in a bind because like I know I want to play DN. Right. I ain't playing. I ain't going back to quarterback. I, I know I ain't. I can't go back to you know quarterback. So I'm like, man, I don't know about this linebacker thing. So, but it kind of went. It kind of went from there, and I got better. I got better, and I Absolutely. got better. Because I like. I mean, I'm I'm one of them people. Like, man, I don't. Like to not figure nothing out, you yeah, know, whatever. Absolutely. So right, yeah. right, right. it kind of mess with me when I don't figure something out or be able. So it's like I'm a I I was gonna figure it out or right, figure right. out what I need to do. Or okay, so so not a lot of this starting to make sense to me because I I used I watched you in high school, mm-hmm. right? Uh, and and I used to see like looking. I'm like. Man, he look at one receiver, and if it ain't there, he taking off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so is that pretty much For the most part? It was a, it was a. They, they just sent, a, they sent a deep post, and yeah. if it didn't wasn't there, you just Three, took off it with was, it. Uh, we had our little checks and stuff. Like man, I used to, we used to be calling our own. Like I used to have my own little checks and stuff. Yeah. Like I kept it very simple. Like the DBs playing off, I'm checking it. We running hitches. If right. we're playing up on my receivers. I had some good receivers in high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Checking yeah. it, they running nines. Yeah, like, yep. <laughs> and we had one other. We probably had four ver- two <laughs> other two <laughs> other route combinations, combinations or whatever. Somebody would, would used to run a dig, or somebody would run a post. And if that ain't work, out of that. I'm out of that. <laughs> my, my clock, my clock was yeah, I had a very short clock. So yeah, yeah, yeah I was out I of that, man. I was not. So, so, and, and what I'm hearing, like. <laughs> Like you said, you might not be, like you might not have been technician at it, but you compete. Mm-hmm. And Basically, yeah, and whatever whatever you didn't know that would that would hinder you from competing yeah. at your highest, you learn you would learn enough to, learn to that, compete. Right, 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 yeah, right, right. and once you got to so, the, the part where the, the place where you compete, all right, I'm yeah. good. Yeah, that's it. And you're exactly right. Like, <laughs> so that's what I was about to say next, as far as like the middle linebacker thing. So now I got to learn the middle or whatever. You know, now that I'm. They gave me a chance to move back to linebacker. So now I'm back at linebacker. I'm um, behind DJ. DJ is a, you know, he's been here a while. He know this defense like the back of his hand. Like he know everything, man. Like, so it seemed like kind of impossible, but like, man, I got me some note cards. Wow. I drew, I wrote up, I wrote every defense we ran in camp. Like I wrote down all the defenses and stuff on these little note cards. And like over our break or whatever, we had like a, no, we had a break before camp. The break before camp, over that break, I guess have my I used to have all them cards laid out in my little brother room and he'll be and he'll get them or whatever. He'll be calling them out to me or whatever. Right. And that's kinda how that's what helped me learn the defense or whatever. Yeah. And learn like different all the plays, the coverages and where I go in this coverage, wow. where I go in this coverage, where I drop to in that coverage. You know, so shoot. Once we got in the camp and they I, they saw that I kinda, you know, knew the defense and stuff and I was able to call the defense and stuff. Yeah, because that's a question I you're kind of you're, you're teaching me a middle linebacker is a quarterback of the defense, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. So you gotta like you gotta say what's what it yeah. is. Right. Yeah, right. Right, 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 right. And I'm not no naturally loud person. Like, yeah, I played quarterback in high school, but I wasn't in the huddle like yelling or like I wasn't like you know, I wasn't that loud, like it's like right. you know, right. very, very <laughs> Chill, like yeah. it ain't, you know. So hey, move over. That was one. Of, that was one of my things. That was one of the things. Like you gonna have to communicate. You gonna have to communicate and stuff. This and that. But it's like, and that was another thing with um people and uh, recruiters in the league of the um with the NFL, whatever. They was like, man, you know, um, you know, were you the one calling defense? Were you like, man, yes, I was calling the defense. Yeah, right, like right. I wasn't probably as animated. As I wasn't as animated as, but as, yeah. like you know what I'm saying. Right. They know who right. you know what I'm saying. I'm calling everything. I'm calling it. <laughs> Me and Duke, you know, and I, yeah. I, you know, and I wasn't that. I don't know. Like you said, I, I like you were saying earlier, how I probably don't get the recognition mm-hmm. or whatever. But it's like, man, because I'm not that mm-hmm. flashy. I don't have right. no cool. So like, it ain't. 
I ain't got that like right. I just I'm just a competitor. Right. Like, right. I'm gonna play and I'm gonna do what I gotta do, man. And, See, it, and, and it's crazy to me that that you say it like that because, like, as far as coaches go, mostly, like you would a coach look for. No. Yeah, nah. So I'm I'm saying on, I'm saying on the tip as I'm saying on the tip as well. You know, you're not gonna do you're not gonna do you're not gonna get no personal file for celebrating, right? No, right, right, right. Not you're gonna not gonna, gonna like, flag, not gonna like distraction. You're not you're not a, you're not a quote unquote distraction to the mm-hmm. team. Like you are gonna go out there, you are gonna handle your business, and go home. Yeah, that's it. And, and you're not gonna call. You're not gonna be a distraction off the field, nah. right? So nah, you won't hear about so, it. so uh, th- that's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what I'm trying what I'm trying to figure out is like why what. Uh, you know why were scouts going out to these links to to find something on you when you you know got to find something like it's, it's, yeah it's, they don't it's, feel it's like they're doing their job yeah, but. Yeah, it gotta find, it's like it got to be something like yeah that was their whole thing like it's got to be something like it can't be just this like just that that easy I guess that just that yeah. simple like. Uh, he only like horses. He only like <laughs> horses. Fish, that's it. Right. Like, it ain't nothing like hey, they, so. I guess it was just yeah, was too good thing. to be true. Yeah, you know, to like, them. I was just yeah. I wasn't very um, like I said. I wasn't very talkative or right, whatever. Right. So like I, I don't know. I think they just saw somebody who didn't seem like it. Might have came off as like I didn't like. And they come off as genuine to them. Yeah, like you know, like I might didn't come off as genuine to them, or maybe I didn't seem like I cared as much as right. all that stuff. I mean, right. Like man, they was they just trying to do their job. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, like what, in that process of the of the draft, like like I, you know the interviews, mm-hmm. like like yeah, that stuff was so man. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, run it. <laughs> man, terrible, 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 terrible. Like, you think you know what I'm saying, like. Like so, you know, I I didn't like I I thought it'd be cool to get there, or whatever, go to the draft or whatever. And man, once you actually once you get there, though, man, it's like man, that's a headache. Like, that ain't nothing but a headache. That ain't nothing but a headache. Like all that, like just keeping you up and all that extra stuff. Like it's so extra. And then don't let you be have no injuries. You got to go to the MRI thing for this mm-hmm. team. You got to go back, you know, and sit up in the MRI thing and. It was, it was a lot, man. Yeah. It's a lot. It yeah. was so much, <laughs> and I wasn't even compete. I didn't even run. Like I didn't do nothing besides bench. Right. Wow. That's it. And right. man, it was a lot for me. So I'm thinking, like, man, all the other stuff. They be doing all right, these right. boys, these boys getting ready to run, and they didn't have to deal with all this, you know, all this other stuff. And right. they got to go. They expecting them to go. Like it's like a disadvantage, kind of. It's mm-hmm. like, man, like why y'all. Yeah, I guess. You know, it just, <laughs> I guess. I guess it so, wasn't. It wasn't cool. Was so, fun. so was your your pro day more enjoyable than the actual combine? Or the pro day was cool. I didn't do nothing at pro day either. I yeah. just um, shoot, I was chilling for that too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't. Like I was. I was done. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. You you really bro man from the fifth yeah. floor. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> Like for real, yeah, yeah. Just, just, just chilling, yeah, just sandwiches, just, just, <laughs> just chilling. Oh my gosh, bro. that's hilarious, bro. That's hilarious. So, so oh, I want to ask him. I want to ask him about the NIL, <laughs> but now with his personality and what he's telling me, I don't like. I guess he. What, what do you think about the 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 new thing now, where they can benefit off of it, they can make money off of it? Yeah. What 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 do you th- think would have been different for you playing ball and being a high profile player at LSU? Yeah, and if that if that came down when you were playing, oh, I would have loved it. Um, right. I feel like it would have definitely gave me a jump start, probably on some things that I want that I was interested in. Yeah, or you know, even with partnerships and stuff like that, instead of waiting to after the draft and you you know a guy sitting around hoping they get drafted, and, you know, if the draft night don't go the way somebody think, right, right, it's like them sponsorships that you thought you would have, you probably won't, Dry probably up. not getting right now. You know what I'm saying? Right, so. Right. That was the, that's the thing for me. It's like that could it could be a jump start for that. Like you know what I'm saying. It, it won't it. be so much based off of your status after you're drafted. Like it's it. based off of the you present. Right now, and right. Yeah, you right now as a college athlete, mm-hmm. and um, if this company or that company, or whoever would decide they want to do something with you or whatever, like yeah, that's cool. Yeah, okay. I, I love it. I love it for for people. We talk about this a lot too. Mm-hmm. Once again, but mm-hmm. some of these athletes that are good at it, they're they're naturally good at it. Mm-hmm. But they're interested in so many different other things. Right. Like I know you're gonna bring some athletes in mm-hmm. here, mm-hmm. you know, uh, sometime soon. Like they're interested in other things to give them opportunity. Now right. I thought I was balling. 
I mean, I thought not balling, but I felt like we was well taken care of. Like uh-huh. we was straight. Like you know, we didn't want for anything. <laughs> LSU, like you know what I'm saying. Doug and them too. Like no, they, no, didn't, no. They, didn't, <laughs> they did not. They didn't want for nothing. LSU. So when you add this fact in, yeah, that's a whole other ball game. Man, it's a whole nother. <laughs> like man, like. You know, we ain't nobody going across campus waiting on no chick or waiting. Probably ain't, you know, it probably ain't the same. Like, as far as like with people walk, we used to go, we knew that time of the month, yes, like, sir. we going, walking, we taking that walk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you meet somebody on campus and they, they, you don't know where, which way they going after they, after y'all cross paths. Right, right, like, right, you're right. gonna, you, you gonna get that, you head that way, you taking that walk, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you start laughing, you start, the person starts smiling and you already know, like, it's time, but it's well. that day, so it's like, man, you yeah. know, you see certain people out that you wouldn't see. Out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like we, they going to be there. Like we going to go collect all the check, man. Oh, and that man, was like funny. that was cool. That was once a month, and shoot, man, that was. You knew that you knew when that check came because the decorations in the apartment was different. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. TV yeah. was a little bit bigger. <laughs> Thing. You know, shoes oh, yeah. a little bit cleaner. Uh, you, oh, yeah. you going? You <laughs> go out. The refrigerator's a little bit more stuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Before that check came, yeah. Yeah. So, Ab- absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. But like this adds a whole nother factor, though. Like man, yeah. um, it's um, I think it's a good thing though, because it's like why not? Why not? Why not? Like we're we're giving so much, we're sacrificing so much. We're, we're literally Facts. like Facts. With, with no our, guarantees. Sometimes. With no guarantee, exactly, right, exactly. Right. So uh-huh. it's like why not? You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's what it is, and it's, you know, if I'm able to make money or whatever, like, why not, man? Z, like, Z. shoot, I'm right. giving a, I'm giving a whole lot of myself. Yep, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? For yeah. a little, I thought we was getting a nice return, but this is the return. That's the return that people, that, that college athletes should have been, you know, right. getting or whatever. Right. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. They um so after after your your senior season two thousand two thousand sixteen so uh, the seventeen draft is, is approaching um and you oh, get- <laughs> draft night <laughs> you took the first man he's so hurt bro. He's so- <laughs> rough night you know what but that could be even- like a that what? could be like what? a very tell my, tell my very true he didn't even be I, I, the question I was gonna ask him that yeah <laughs> he's like I was like so you get so the draft come up oh, oh, draft night, night. Draft <laughs> night. <laughs> man like I'll that never hold time- on this this, this 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 I'm never I gotta stop because uh-huh. I, I don't hear. When you hear athletes talking about the draft, like you're the fact that you're going to the draft, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, "Man, yeah, draft, like, man, so like, that's a new, one. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah. So what happened with me was, so my junior year of college, I was deciding about if I was going to leave school or whatever, and all this and that, and I had got a grade back that I was a potential, you know, third. They had me like going from second to third. To for sure for fourth round this and that for sure mm-hmm. third to fourth round pick my junior year so I'm like nah I'm I'm trying to go in the first round right, right, I ain't right, 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 like, I'm, right. I ain't if I'm gonna go right, yeah, right if I'm right. going I'm going first like right. um so I end up going back to school or whatever and ended up tearing my ACL um with a make and during a makeup game with Florida yep and um uh, man so right after I tore my ACL my um my agent at the time he was like oh yeah well I was afraid of, like, I was telling him what my diagnosis was or whatever. He's like, yeah, I was afraid of that, man. Um, So, and he, you know, he kept a G or whatever. He's like, man, you're probably going to drop. I mean, you was looking at, you, you, you was thinking about, like, second, third round for sure. But, you know, now you probably going to be looking at about fourth to fifth round. Mm-hmm. You know, we'll see how it goes. So, I was like, man. Like, I, I, you know, but it's like, what can you do? Like, yeah. it's tall now. Right, like, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, 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 right. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I, I was like, yeah, I figured that or whatever. So, End up getting the surgery and stuff, and you know I was rehabbing and all that, and so draft night comes around. Um, stressful night, stressful night. That's a, that's one of them times when I was feeling some feeling that pressure. Mm-hmm. I was yeah. feeling that pressure. Um, if you got all your family there, and um, <laughs> it's like man, people kind of they kind of waiting around, like they're not gonna say like they, you know, they anxious too. Like you know, not only are we anxious or whatever, like I'm. Like it got to the point where I was having to calm my daddy down. I'm like, <laughs> my dad, like, man, what's going on, man? <laughs> like, he, he gonna let his emotion, like, he gonna let it out. <laughs> like, right, right. like, man, what's going on, man? You need to call your age. I'm like, dad, the age don't get you drafted, man. Whatever, gonna, like, what's gonna happen? Gonna happen? The age ain't nothing that my agent can do for me or right. like that. Yeah, he like, man, or whatever, because like, like I say, like the first round went by. Right. You know, of course, I'm I'm chilling. I'm right. chilling the first round because I'm like, right. you know, that's right. yeah. Second round. 
I'm like, eh, you know what I'm saying? Right, maybe, right, right, maybe, right. you know what I'm saying? Third round go by, going by. Right, right. <laughs> and shoot, we get to the third. So by the, so this the end of the first, what's that? No, the second night. Second night, yeah. Yeah, so this the, towards the end of the second night, like my mama start, like it, we had a whole little day going. And <laughs> my, look, so it's getting towards the end of the third like round. <laughs> they got some extra picks in the third round or whatever, but nobody really, you know, it's like, as third round is just going by, going on, going on. And uh, my mom started cleaning up, you know. <laughs> it up, I'm man. looking around, and I'm just like, man. Like, it's like, I don't know. It's like a crazy, like, feeling, man. It's like, I'm looking at my mama. I'm looking at, like, my mom, of course, she's, like, still, you know, positive. But it's like, you cleaning up. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Like, right. Night over with. Mom, night over with. Right. Night over with. My I dad believe in you, baby. Everybody about to go to bed. <laughs> was outside. My dad was outside, frustrated. You know his friends, um, Trail. My uncle yeah. Trail was my uncle Trail was in there. Yeah. My uncle Trail was over there. Like he's getting sleepy. Like it's it's late. Like right, he's getting right, late. Right, so right, he's getting right. tired. Like you know the yeah. other people there, they kind of getting tired. My grandmother and them, they getting tired. So I'm like, man, like I literally. So I walked outside looking for my dad or whatever because I'm like, man, what is dude that? So I walked outside. He wasn't out there, so I kept walking and I walked down the driveway, and I said a prayer to myself. And I walked back up the driveway after I finished praying, and then I went back inside. As I was going back inside, and I opened the door, my phone rang, hmm. and I looked down. It said Tampa Bay. I'm like Tampa. I'm like who calling from Tampa? Right, right. right. So I'm because I Tampa Bay was like the last team on my list of teams that would pick me. Like I right. did not expect right. that at all. Right. So. When I see Tampa Bay, I didn't get excited initially. Like I'm like, mm, <laughs> okay. uh, I'm like, oh okay, they must be calling because I'm looking at the TV and it's like on pick 101, 102. <laughs> right. Right. So I'm like, oh, I'm like, but it had like 107 in the picks. So I'm like, um, and I answer the phone and stuff. I I was thinking that they was calling about the next day, like right, the right, fourth right, 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 right. So um, it was like, nah. It's like, um, hey man, um, how you doing, Kendall? We taking you or whatever? And like, man. Yeah, my heart dropped. Like, yeah. I'm like, man, like I like wait. I like what you mean? Um, I like, I was like, I don't see it on the TV. I was like, oh, I, like, I don't see it popping on TV. He's like, nah, the TV is delayed, man. You got, like, it's gonna come or whatever. We, he's like, we just traded, we just traded up to come get you or whatever. So, man, we um, you gonna be a buck or whatever? So, man, I, by this time, I'm like kind of breaking down. Right. I, I, my um fiance, um, my girl, it's, she grabbed me. She grabbed me. You know, to try to like get me to like stay in the room in the right. kitchen area where my family was kind of like right, right. gathering. Yeah, I mean, they right. see I'm on the phone, like, but <coughs> emotions took like right. so. She yeah. like, hold, like I'm walking, and I'm like, man, thank you, man, thank you. And then uh, <laughs> and I'm walking, and she trying to grab me. I'm like, <laughs> I like I snatched away, <laughs> like, I snatched away from her, or whatever. And she thought I was being mean, but I'm like, no. I'm like baby, like I don't know. I wasn't thinking, like right, I wasn't right, thinking, right, thinking right. about right. celebrating or like just sitting right, like man, I was. I yeah. really was getting away to go cry. I definitely went to the car. Like, I went to my little brother room. I get broke down, man. Like, it, was like, it was like such a build up. Bro. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, dang, bro. Yeah, so yeah. I could under. I man, my heart goes out <laughs> to um, to people to people, yeah. draftees, I love this people that's bro. um, yeah, you know, thinking they gonna get drafted or you know have that unsureness or that like man. Uh, think you know, think about the people that's going into like thinking, just knowing they just gonna get drafted and stuff like that, and then it just like don't happen. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then you got to yeah. figure it out. Like I couldn't eat. Yeah, I couldn't imagine. <laughs> it. I couldn't imagine. It. Like you gotta like that's a lot, man. So like, yeah, it's it's crazy how stuff played out now. But it was like that night was a Mark. it was a stressful night, man. It was a stressful night. We parted the next day though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we did, man. For gotta real, it, it was yeah. a stressful time, man. I can yeah. that could I could see how they could leave a damp. On you know a, a young athlete mm-hmm. you know career or like life period because right. it's like dang I ain't get called uh, you ain't gonna you know what I'm saying yeah, right right that's it's, it's too much right, right. Yeah. <laughs> too much but you know man. Dante is an so, advocate Dante is an advocate what you come on you about to say so, right now yeah exactly what I'm about to bring up uh, so <laughs> I'm a proponent of myself uh, I'm uh, I tried to get my brothers on board I don't know they kind of they kind of one foot in one foot out <laughs> I'm. I'm a proponent of getting rid of drafts, right? They need, they need to, man. So, is with it. so <laughs> they, get, they go your business partner, right? Yeah, here. Is, so, right. so basically, you, you, you basically handle it like you handle it like yep. any other job interview. Mm-hmm. 
you go and you look at the organizations for what they are, right? And you go and interview with those teams. Now, they still have to hire you the same way, you know, you go out right, and try to right, get hired right, for a regular right, job. Right, Isn't right. that the process already? Like, wouldn't that be kind of like the thing like you're going to work out for teams too? Like, yeah, they, they, well, yeah, you do. You do. You go, it's like free agency. Teams. It's like free agency from the beginning, uh, though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. You, you go and now you, you can keep the salary cap in place. Mm-hmm. You know, teams just can't, you know, it, a well run organization ain't yeah. just, it just can't get all the players, you know, because some players could be like, well, shoot, if ain't nobody going to go play for. X and Team X Right I go get that bag Over there Right Right, right? right. 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 Exactly. <laughs> You know what I'm saying Yeah I, it, it, nah, the, the experience Might not be the best But Right You know I, I, I go secure Secure the future Right now yeah, yeah. You know right. what I'm saying Off the rip Versus Going to a winning team And probably getting paid less You know what I'm saying Right So uh, so that's why you know that's that's something that I'm performing. Sound like sound like you you like, yeah, that. For it. <laughs> like they don't understand like how that stuff play on people like lives or whatever like that's a lot, man. Especially yeah. being young like that, like man, that's a lot. How old, were you? A, how old were you when you? When you I was um uh, twenty two. Wow. Yeah, twenty two right, 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 when I got right. um drafted. Wow. Yeah, twenty two. Hmm. That's yeah, young, that's, that's yeah, that's that's more you, experience. Yeah. You don't want experience if if it don't go the way you want to. Right. You don't want. That, that's man, not a I good couldn't experience. imagine, Doug. I couldn't. <laughs> I, 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 man, yeah. I couldn't imagine like. And have, to, have, to get like, up, have to get up and keep going and keep pushing. That's because I know that feeling right, right, I had right, right before mm-hmm, that, mm-hmm. and it's like, dang, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. So I'm a, and which I'm still thinking I'm gonna get drafted, but it right. ain't where I'm thinking. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? Well, I want to get drafted. I want right. to go in the second. You right, know what right, I'm saying? Right, 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 at least right. uh, I want to go in the, you know, early third or whatever. You know, at the very least. So right. it's like when it's like happening, I'm like, oh man. Like I might, I'm about to get drafted. I don't know when. You right. know what I'm saying? Like maybe it happened. On the third day right, like, right, You know what I'm saying We'll see But I'm like Feeling not as excited About it now All of a sudden right. You know what I'm saying When I still should be Because I right. still got that's hope true. I got true. three more rounds Three more rounds hey, yeah. When you said the family came Was there, was everybody there On day one of the draft Like did y'all do it like that or Nah You kind of told them The second, 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 second day, day. Okay, Second right, day right, Second right, day right. It was kind of understood That second day Was going to be that, okay, that good, day good. Right. So it's like You know It's expected to happen day, right, 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 right. <laughs> It's expected to happen It's like man It's so so much gray area Because it's like man You just got you just told you you just coming off an ACL injury. Nobody gonna know how you coming back. Yeah, and all that stuff plays in, into it. But you know, it worked out. Yep. Draft night is one of the most mentally uh, challenging things that you ever experience. <clears throat> and if you get past that, um, a lot of times uh, life in general is not is not hard. Like you're gonna mm. go through things in life, but that part is the most mentally challenging thing that you can wow, do wow, because, wow. It, like he said, at that particular point in time, now that's when the pressure comes. Mm. Now you feel like. I'm the only hope in the family right now. Everything Which, you did, right. everything you done did, on this night, on this draft, on this, on this, this, this night, this, these Absolutely. days, right, 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 right. Like, that's what it's riding on. Absolutely. You so now, I mean? so now you get drafted, you go to Tampa Bay, right, and you have a, a, a standing rookie season. Mm-hmm. Um, recorded a season high, 14 tackles against yeah. Tom Brady on Thursday night football. Right. Uh, so we gotta one, talk about that. Yeah, one of your breakout yeah. games. So. Talk about talk about your, your your rookie season. Then we're gonna transition to to after that. So talk about that rookie year and then playing against the goat, Tom right, Brady. Right. As well, how was yeah, that? Yeah. So so okay, man, this is good. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like I said, so like I said, um, so coming out of you know college or whatever. Really, bro, I'm gonna say this. My so my freshman year was kind of you know you know you still learning or whatever. My sophomore year. I was kind of getting in my groove or whatever. Well, we had three, di- three different uh, uh, defensive coordinators. Yep. You know, my last three years. Yeah. Or whatever. Wow. So that was another thing. I had to learn. So my sophomore year, good year, you know, I felt, you know, good or whatever. My junior year, same thing or whatever. You know, still learning, still kind of new system. So mm-hmm. I'm still kind of learning or whatever. Um, then we get a new DC. We go to a 3 4 my senior year. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I probably that's probably the most comfortable I felt, you know, playing it was my senior year and mm-hmm. actually feeling like I know, you know, everything that's going on and all this and that. So then, you know, we get drafted, you know, go to the go to the Bucks and, you know, I'm playing strong side, I'm playing the Sam. They play a four three. So okay, I I gotta learn the Sam. And what happened was I think Quan Quan was down. Mm-hmm. Quan was down. 
Something happened with corn, and I had to play. I had to learn mic. So you gonna learn? I had to learn two positions. You gonna learn two positions when you get okay, there. You gotta so. break. You gotta yeah, break. You gotta 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 You gotta break. 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 You gotta You gotta break. You gotta You gotta break. You gotta 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 like I say, Mike is middle. Mike, Mike, Mike is middle. Sam, Mike, Mike is, Sam. is the middle. Sam, Sam, Sam is the strong Will. side. Will is the weak side. Ah, yeah. Mike, Sam, Will. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mike, yeah, Will yeah, yeah. Mike Will made it. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> but um, definitely, I I had to learn. So I, like I said, I had just got comfortable. I learned uh, Coach Aranda's defense, the three mm-hmm. four, whatever. Was good or whatever, and now get to the league. Now I have to learn multiple positions, mm-hmm. right. and like I say, they they really they you know they knew I could rush and stuff too. So they they created my own little package for me, um, for me to go in and rush yeah, they, on, right. on, on right. third down or whatever. So I had to learn that too. Right. They got plays, Play they edge. got plays. Right. The defense, the defense line got a nice little playbook too in the league or yeah, whatever. Right, so right, right, yeah. right, right, right. first time learning that, and um, so man, I mean. It was a lot to learn. Like it was a lot to learn. So I started off playing Mike, and I got good at Mike mm-hmm. or whatever. And I was good with the end, the rushing off the edge thing. So when Corn came back or whatever, I had to move back to Sam. Yeah, didn't really know Sam, mm-hmm. and I had played these couple of games at Mike. They knew I could play Mike or whatever. So I get back. I had to play Sam, and uh, man, I literally learned the Sam position, the strong side linebacker position. <laughs> Within probably like two days, mm-hmm. something yeah. like that. Right. Like, like they, because you know, coming, I was doing good in the middle, so like it was kind of, they was kind of expected, it was kind of expected for me to start, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Right, so right, right. here I am, day one, yeah, <laughs> don't know where to line up. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I say, man, <laughs> like once I learned Mike, that was like, I learned Mike, like I know I can rush, I know my right. rush package, right? I know Mike. I know how to call his defense. Like you say, play Brady and stuff. Right. Like even that game, like playing Mike, I was getting comfortable with Mike. Yeah. I just, yeah. I was getting so you're comfortable. You're playing middle on that game against yeah. Brady. Against Brady, yeah. I was playing in the middle and they was like, they was talking to me and stuff because you know the thing about being vocal and all that mm-hmm. stuff. So the coach, they're like, yeah, Beck, man, you're going to have to, um, <laughs> you know, you're going to have to get it to this side. It's a Thursday night game. You know, you're playing against Brady. You're going to have to get it to this side and get it to that side or whatever. Where y'all playing at? Y'all we playing, playing in Tampa. In Tampa. We're playing okay. in Tampa. Okay. And, um, Man, I handled it. I handled uh, it like, yeah, because um, it wasn't known. I don't think it was clear if Quan was gonna play that game or whatever. But then, because at first, initially, they was talking about be, me being matched up on um, Grunt. Mm-hmm. They was like, "We gonna match you on like my the D coordinator like we matching you on Grunt." We, mm. I think you can handle it. You can handle him or whatever. I'm like, yeah, I can handle. I can handle. It. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay. All right. so, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I can, yeah, I can handle. Yeah, yeah. I ain't nothing. I, like, am I? I'm like, yeah, I can handle. You know, I'm, push on me. You know what I'm saying? I ride, I ride horses. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he ain't finna push on me or nothing like that. So like, yeah, I'm gonna handle him or right. whatever. So Gronk mm-hmm. ended up not playing, and then I ended up playing, staying at Mike or whatever. So. Mm-hmm. Um, I think they kept pouring out another another week or whatever. So I ended up playing Mike handled it, man. I yeah, handled bro. it. Um, we had him on the ropes. We had him. I mean, it was it yeah. was hard on it was hard on Brady that night. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, and now, I got to tell me the stats. Um, I, hit I read it. I read it. But the stats on that night, I, I know you had so many sacks or something like that. How many? How many? You said like so. Many. I had um. It was just, it, it was tackles. I had a lot of tackles. Yeah, 14, yeah. 14, a lot of tackles tackles. that night. Yeah, and um. Sheesh. Man, I um. I got that. I think I got the game ball, even though we we lost or whatever. Right. Like, but I got our little team game ball and stuff right, for that right, night. Right. Um, so it was cool, man. I think it was that night. Yeah, yeah. I think it was that night. Man. But um, it was cool. Like, I didn't, I didn't overthink it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, I'm playing against Brady, but. And that's the thing. So I think what? A lot, you know people, what a lot of people need to know this too. Like, how is it? Like, so when you grow up, you see these people, but now when you're in that moment and you actually playing time, Brady, like, I got. Are, are you actually thinking, man? That's time, Brady, across the line of scrimmage. That's Tom Brady. What I got? I got to. I got to line this defense up. Yeah, <laughs> gotta, you know, what I'm I got checks. Right. I got to make. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like yeah. I'm. We winning. Right. I'm right. trying to win. Right. Like, right. I, we right. about to beat Brady. We we. I don't care. 
who yeah. it is right. at the end of the day. Like, cross, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, I'm going, if I get my hands on him, I'm going to treat him the same. I'm going, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I, I was able to get a, get a little hit off on him. Right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, hey, hey, he's like hey, good hey, hit. Good boy, hit. Hey, helmet, hey. His helmet had came off. It like, did. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, it did. It was real. I stuck a little lick in. And that's when it was kind of real. Like, dang, I'm, you know, it's braided, but it's like, you know, get your helmet. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, um, it was fun, man. It was fun. I um I definitely enjoyed my rookie year. Like I said, I had a lot of I had to learn I had to learn defensive end. I learned Mike. Oh, what were you defensive in the, in the league? I learned DN. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I learned DN. I had to learn that. I had to learn Mike. Cause I was what happened was when I wasn't at Mike and you know they go to nickel. Uh-huh. Nickel meaning the, uh-huh. the nickel come on the strong side linebacker. We need more DBs on the field. Right, right, got it, got Whatever. it, got it, so got it. Got it. That's what they. That's why they created that package is because they was trying to figure out a way to keep me on the field mm-hmm. or whatever, and keep me Levante and Quan out there at yeah, one time. The so time, it's like right. they they had me out there, you know, rushing or whatever. Right, right, right. right. But um, I had to. I ended up learning all three of the mic positions because one one game I had to go in for Levante. Mm-hmm. And play Will Didn't yeah. know uh-huh. We was playing Atlanta And I had to play Will What's the degree of difference Between the linebackers I'm, I might be asking questions just Nah I mean It's like I mean So the Mike He gotta know everything Like <laughs> right, right, right. He gotta know basically <laughs> Like the, everything That the D-line have to do How they supposed to be lined up um, The back end The secondary Like he gotta know all that You gotta know where wild, everybody wild. gonna be Yeah um, As far as the strong side I mean he most The strong side uh, linebacker He mostly you know it ain't, you know, you ain't on base, you right. know, so that's your base defense. That's first and second down right. most got of the time, it, got it, got you know it, got what I'm saying? Got it, got it. You know, and depending on what happened on first down, he might be coming, like, the strong side, he be in and out. You know, the it's really the mic and the wheel are the ones that's going right. to be out there the most or whatever okay, and play the most it. ball mm-hmm. or whatever. Right. So, them the two main inside, you know, positions right. or whatever. Because sometimes, like I said, the strong side, he can walk down on the line, mm-hmm. he can rush. You might cover a tight end. You, right. you may cover a running back. But, okay. shoot, when it come that down the distance get a little longer and it's like, shoot, you know, they need a DB, they gonna, you coming out. You coming right. out. Right. 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 So, <laughs> I, I like that. You I, gotta know. Man, so much running. It. Like, yeah. you And then, you know, with the NFL now, like, shoot, teams coming out there in 11 personnel. Like, they not – so first down, like I, you know, if you had Sam, you out there on the field, you might have to run off because it's like, oh, they coming out and they coming out throwing. Right, they, right, right, out. they might be about to right, run, right. but it's it's a passing league. So right. oh, yeah, right now sure that Sam, that's that position is fading. Yeah, right. it's kind of fading. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's okay. a distinct. That 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 yeah. position is extinct. Yeah, yeah. It's wow. getting there and they the knew point. it was a lot on me too. They was like, they used to always come like, Beck, man, we know we, you know. You know we putting a lot on you or whatever. Running um, in and I'm out. Like, man, I'm good. Yeah. I, no, no, not even the running in and out. Uh-huh. It's, it was the learning all the learning. different positions. Oh, right, right, right. Like right, they right. was like, man, we know this a lot. This a lot for a rookie or whatever. Like even the older vets on the team, they was like, man, how you know all, how you putting all that stuff together? And it, it wasn't like I was going home doing no extensive study. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was very like it was very like <laughs> you know. I was just I was I thank God I was able to like catch on. I was always able to learn quick. Yeah, you I know think, what I'm saying. Like yeah. I say with the Sam thing, like I'm, I learned how to place. I literally went out there for the Sam, and I didn't know how to line up mm-hmm. properly the first day I went out there. So I'm like, dang, I don't like looking bad either. Like, right. I don't yeah. like, right, right, right. Yeah. like, I don't like all eyes on me. Like, right. oh, he the one that messed it up. <laughs> right. You messed this up, or you got right. us lined up wrong. Right. So dang, I went out there at Sam, man. My first day at Sam, and I lined up all types of wrong. And my my linebacker was like, yeah, it didn't seem like you didn't know what you was. Um. <laughs> Cause it was that bad. And I'm like, I was like, nah, I like, I got it, coach. That's all I used to. That's all I would say. Like, man, I got it. I, I'm up. You know what I'm saying? And um, shoot, that next time we came out there, what I did was. I uh, got in touch. Well, I talked to our um, our assistant linebacker coach at the time. I was like, man, look, meet me in the morning. We're going right. to go over that Sam stuff. Mm-hmm. Right. And so, right. You know what I'm saying? So right. he met me the next morning. You know, he was drawing up on the board. We went over it. You know what I'm saying? And shoot, from there, we went when we went back out on the practice field to line up, do alignments and stuff before practice. Right. I had it. Had that it, was right. it. And that was right. the end of that. They knew they didn't have to, you know, worry about me. And that was like the thing. Like, they're like, man, you know, once we, we know, we know, like, 
the whole thing with the Thursday night game, like they yeah. kept coming up to me. I'm like, man, I, I'm, I'm good. good. Like, right, you know, right, right, right. like I know, I know, you know, D coordinated. He's like, man, you know, I know when you say you got it, you got right, it, or whatever. Right, right, right. Yeah, I'm, I'm straight. <laughs> so I'm glad he said that about how like he didn't go home and do extensive work. See, everybody talking about how they they grind tape and they and they. No, you're not. It's not about me. how quick you can process the information. Yeah. Bro. It's not about how long you do it. Right, That's just right, anything right. in, in general, right? Yeah, it's not right. about the quantity. It's about the quality. Wow, so right, it's right. like how he processed the information. Yeah, you right. go and home put it and, work and put, put, it work, put it in right. work during the day. Because yeah. look, yeah, I think practice, like, man, you want to go home and you have a life to live yeah, too. Sure, yeah. right, right, you know, right, right. so between that time, between that, between practice and work hours, mm-hmm. get it in and get it done. Like right. I said, I was just getting Good to job. that point to where right. I was like, I was trying to get, I was just getting to that point when I watched film, man. Like, I had an iPad in college. But <laughs> you ain't watching. Man, 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 playing Angry iPad, Birds. Yeah. IPad, Angry Birds. <laughs> Angry Birds. <laughs> and that iPad was for music, man. That was that was it. Like, oh my god! I got it. Not, you know, I was so glad. You know, I'm thank Coach Aranda. He came in when he came in. I think Coach Aranda could kind of sense that. Like, you know, it's like, <laughs> like man, He's y'all like, boys, you know. y'all boys are surface level. Like, so he he got to the point where he started bringing me in. Uh, like he would Like once we got done With our class Me and Duke would go Meet with Aranda right. And that kind of Helped me man And like that That helped me out a lot Like you know Meeting with him And like starting to Like really dig into Like defenses And like what we Trying to do Or what we I was like man <laughs> Before that It was just It was all play It was all Like I know my I know the play I'm gonna call the play out right. Line up You know what I'm saying Just not I was just Really getting to that point where I was understanding right, every right. single like was everything together, that was, was going together, on, right. uh, right. trying to learn how to study an opponent. Like I didn't know what these teams were coming in doing <laughs> in college. <laughs> whatever we watch throughout the week, yep, whatever we watch throughout the week in the um in the individual <laughs> rooms or uh, as a team, that's it. That's I, it. <laughs> Nothing else. That's yeah. it. Like so, I didn't know. I didn't. I wasn't watching. But I, I ain't. I, yeah. I didn't pick up on no my own little keys or when they do this, man. They gonna. I ain't know that way. I ain't know none of that. Like tendencies and all that stuff. Yeah, they come out, nah, line up, and they go run nah, this. Like, nah, <laughs> not really. Like I knew. Okay, this formation strong chance of a run. Yeah, this formation they probably gonna pass. So let me get ready to drop. Right. You know. The simple. Yeah, right. yeah, man. Right. Like, I feel like people try to make they like the. People try to make football a lot more complicated, uh, complicated than what right, it actually right, is. Right. Yeah. Like, people overthink that stuff, mm-hmm. right. and I don't think it's that right. complicated. Bro. Play ball, right. man. Find the ball, hit the ball. Man, man. Yeah, at the end of the day, like, right. see ball, get ball. Yep. Yeah, right. So now you, we, we talk about. So now you, fin- you finish your you finish your rookie season. Um, so had a successful rookie season. You, you enjoy Tampa Bay. Now you finally catching on to mm-hmm. everything, catching on to the defense. Uh, so the spring of 2018 uh, comes along, and you you back home um, in, in Baton Rouge. Yeah, um, and then training, training, training. Oh, I was, I was getting right. I ain't gonna lie. And, that was probably and, the first. That was like one of them. I was that was I was very interested to see how I performed because I was like I did some training. I pushed my body to like a point to where I ain't gonna say it was just like that crazy. Like it was like it's some good stuff. Like shout out to RC man, but yeah. Um, and your eating habits change. Yeah, you know, eating remember? habits change. All that, like, so I you come back on him a time. Yeah, and uh, he was like, uh, he was talking. Yes. You remember? He was yeah. talking on the phone. He was like, he's like, he's like, Doug. He said, "Man, you watched what? Uh, what the hell on Netflix?" <laughs> yeah, said, yeah, we yeah. was on that. We yeah. was on yeah. that hard. Yeah, yeah. So on we, we was on. I ain't telling him about yeah. it. He's like, man, he's we was like, on the he, said, he said, man, yeah. I think I can't eat no more meat, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I can't yeah. do it. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. and so yeah. eat. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> eat your business. Eat your business. Eat your business. Yeah. Eat your business. Yeah. Right. But yeah. yeah. Go um, ahead, man. Yeah. They, they, my eating habits definitely. That's now nah, that's some uh, rewinding back to college, man. Like that's something that's um I don't know, like, I wish I understood, like, the diet and stuff much, way better than what I did when I was in college. Like, we had nutritionists and stuff like that, and they did what they could. You know, they did what they had to do or whatever, like, they, you know, but just just knowing, like, going into depth about, you know, different foods and what different stuff do for the body and stuff. Like, I wish... You know, I I would have studied and knew that knew a little bit more mm-hmm. about that, like because yeah, you know that stuff is like a, a hell of an advantage, right, man. A hell of an advantage. So when I got to Tampa, yeah. So in 2017, I was training in, in uh, Pensacola, and 
I met some guys that was training there, or whatever, and them boys they was talking about pork. And they talking about how they don't that they didn't eat pork. Right. These so happen to be the guys that I was drawn to. Like I, I'm not a talkative. Like I just kind of let my friends come to me, like or whatever. Like yeah. I ain't going to go sit by no. I like, go sit over here by myself. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm go sit by myself, and right. you know, somebody, somebody come to this table right, right, and right. They start talking. We can talk. Like I ain't right. no, you know. But yeah, them boys. Like that's kind of how it went, and I was to myself, and them boys. Like we we became cool, kinda, and shoot, them boys talking about pork. Like I know, I realized that they didn't eat no pork. Like they were always like not, and it was just like man. You know, they went to talking about the pig and saying, like, man, you know how disgusting the pig is. And, you know, like, you know, just different things about the pig and mm-hmm. trying to, you know, how they don't want to be associated with right. it in no kind of way. And it's like, why would you even put that in your body? And I'm like, yeah, I was like, why would you put that in your body? So <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I made a decision in 2017. I was like, man, well, I'm done with pork, man. I ain't right. eat no more of that stuff. Like, uh-huh. I don't need no pig. I ain't no pig, so I ain't eat no pig. Right, like, right, and right. Um, that's what it is. And so. what the hell to get it out of you, too? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Boy, you had you out just like yeah. I'm going to eat grass and water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm like, man, I'm not. I stopped eating pork, and um, <laughs> so when I got got on, went on to Tampa and stuff. You know, I was always a big smoothie person or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I always would have like my little fruit smoothies or whatever. And um, I started eating a lot more vegetables and stuff mm-hmm. when I was in Tampa. I started eating like a lot more salad and like you know than what I have had been. Mm-hmm. And I saw a difference. Like I started to like kind of trim up. Like I started to like lose all that little fat. Like the little I used to try to starve myself mm. in college to try to lose wow. to try to lose weight. Wow. Like I used to try to like like literally. Like I remember one time, Dougie, you called me. <laughs> this was early on in college, and you was like, "Where you at? You like you ain't eating, huh, boy?" <laughs> <laughs> or something like that You said I like nah man I ain't eat nothing I ain't eat nothing tonight I ate the um I like man I went to the um I went to the corner store And I got me a power weight And a bag of chips I remember I said, <laughs> I, said I thought I was doing something You know what I'm saying But that was the mindset At the yeah. time Like I don't I'm thinking that a, a bag of chips, me by me getting this oh, power way and some bag chips, of chips you don't some me. munchies, that's gonna make me, you know, that'll help me maintain and not make me gain so much weight. Man, I was so wrong. Like I used to wonder, you know, I used to wonder, like when I was in college, like why is it so hard mm-hmm. for me to like kind of lose this little, you know, this extra little right. fat or whatever. Right. Like I, I'm just. Like I would lose like a few, like very th- three pounds here, you know, and, and then yeah. I go right back up, you know. As soon right. as I have me a little fun, <laughs> right. go right back up. Yeah. Like, hey, man, what is going on? And yeah, now, I, I think that I realized that was the that was like my the biggest thing for me and Kyle. I probably I just wasn't intaking enough vegetables right. at the time. Like I, I was just I was eating. I yeah. wish like what you're saying. I wish that was across the board. I mean, even right now with the health and and the pandemic and all stuff like that. Yeah, I wish it, there's so much education out there. I mean, mm-hmm. we had a university, mm-hmm. and they have so much money to be able to do whatever kind of uh, teaching. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I wish that those conversations would be more prevalent. I think it's happening more now. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know, as people can put out more information, but just something like that to even teach. I saw somebody talking today. We were talking about financial literacy in high school. Yeah, we ain't learned none of that. None of financial literacy in high school, mm-hmm. but even things like that and shooting high school I mean in school regular school man they had us drinking you know chocolate milk and white true. milk every day we had no water we had no water. you know, you know so, so it's like it's like the environment that we in that we're in you know we come up in like you know like I was saying the nutritionist at LSU it's like I don't think it's not that she don't want to help us. She's not trying to point us in the right direction. Like she made they made sure that we had something to eat or whatever and right. all that but it's right. just like as far as like no, going in depth and like right. knowing uh-huh. exactly mm-hmm. what all foods mm-hmm. or which which foods, you know what I'm saying, you probably should be consumed with the most of right. or, right. you know, all that stuff. Like it just, you know, they just didn't get into all right. that. Like, right. You know, it right. just, right. man, you just kept it, you know, yeah. kind of surface level. It's it just kept it very surface right. level. But it's like, man, I think it's like one of the most important things, like especially <laughs> like now, like mm-hmm. being removed from the game and all that, like. Man, your diet, like what you put in that gut, hmm. is a, a. And I'm not, and not to say that I'm perfect at all. But right, I still right, do. Right. I still, you but know, even being conscious of it, yeah, but right. being conscious, right, yes, yes, true. yes, absolutely, it makes a absolutely. difference. Because we were unconscious. Now, I know, very unconscious. I know for a minute, very unconscious. I'm right. unconscious, boy. I'm eating. I'm fast food. I'm yeah. whatever, boy. We eat yeah. everything. Under, I tell you, man. We, yes, sir. But studio days, boy. We eat everything. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah. Pull it up here, put it on the table. Right. Everybody eat. Right, 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 right. So you, when I first got to Tampa, you can pay me. Like I did not like, I didn't like, um, I didn't like guacamole. 
Like I didn't like um I didn't like I say like my homeboy used to go to Chipotle and get the guacamole bro, all the time. Me. I'm like that's me, dog. I'm, I'm like, bro, <laughs> like, how you eat that yeah, or whatever? That bird food, like, that bird food. Yeah, 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 like so I'm going Random to the checkers. Food. Like this in Tampa. Like I'm going to the checkers or whatever. This is when we first got there. I'm still going to the checkers and stuff. <laughs> and um man, like I say, I I eventually I started adding in, you know, more vegetables and stuff, man, right. and you know, more fruit and stuff. And when I was going to dinner and stuff and lunch, I would stop eating the steak and stuff like that. Like, I would only get, like, chicken. I would only, you know what I'm saying? I was, and I saw a difference, bro. I mm-hmm. saw a difference quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, it's, I, <laughs> yeah. Fell off. Yeah, yeah, yeah my, my boy, my boy, shout out to Jeremiah. He would do that, too. we go out of town. And, uh. He would be going to Chipotle. I'm like, bro, I'm not. I'm, I don't not want that. Funny. I don't want. I don't. What? Can pay me to eat no veggie bowl. Yeah, I'm not. Now all I want is a veggie bowl. Yeah, right, 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 right. right, right. Chipotle, I'm getting a veggie bowl. Right, right, right. I'm getting a veggie bowl. <laughs> and that, that's how I was. No guac, no avocado, none of that yeah. stuff. But I, I started picking up and started realizing, yo, this is it. You yeah, one of the healthiest fats you can have. That's right. Avocado. That's it. And right. It's like, man, why ain't hip? You know what I'm saying? Right. You would think, but. We um, yeah, we, we, we good. We good on time. Yeah. Come on, we running. All right. I want like so. I, we probably all know the answer to this now. <laughs> so, yeah, so, right. so when you when you train in 2018, you getting your body right, going to your second year. Yeah. Um, you back home training and stuff, and you have a, you have an accident, a car accident, mm-hmm. right? Uh, that mess up your ankle. Now at that time, the whole process. Now everything's kind of kind of mm-hmm. limbo. Like mm-hmm. you know, I can still go back and play, mm-hmm. um, or I can maybe just say, "Look, man, this is this is it." How was that? How was that time making the making decision in 2018? Should I still continue my career, yeah. or do I just need to kind of just yeah. fall back? What what went into that into that thought process? Yeah. Nah, well, it I didn't I didn't um it wasn't a dec- I didn't know I was gonna have to make a decision until I made a decision. Mm-hmm. Like I didn't mm-hmm. like I um literally like once the a- accident happened or whatever. Like I um I went you know straight from the accident. Shoot, um, y'all want to you when we talk about the man, the this, whole accident? Man, come on, talk about <laughs> it. Man. Oh, okay, because so we, even we, the accident back home, twenty eighteen, I had just finished up training. I was going back to Tampa the next day mm. or whatever, and shoot, we was at one of my um homeboys' house game night or whatever. Um, left the game night. We was like, I was like, man, I need to run back to the gas station. Gas station right up the street. I'll get a power and some chips. Yeah, we about to go. <laughs> we're going right up the street. We're going right up the street. Coming back. I'm like, I'm about to run up the street right quick. Homeboy, like, man, let me drive or whatever. I'm like, yo, you can drive or whatever. Think he's joking. And um, so we gone. I'm heading out the door. He's like, man, I'm serious. Let me drive or whatever. I'm like, man, come on, you can drive or whatever. Like, I was just over here the other week and you drove. Like, right, right, you know, right. you know that car, or whatever. I had a um. Uh, uh, 2017 ZL1 Camaro okay. at the time, so mm-hmm. it's joking. It's yeah, pretty yeah. fast. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, fast. No, that's pretty yeah, fast. Yeah. So it, it, was, it was straight. <laughs> and um, fast. so we went up the street, you know, talking or whatever, and we was chilling. We went to the store, got what we need to get. Left the store, we get back in the car. He driving, we just steady talking. He literally like two minutes, like his house. You can see his house from the gas station down wow. the street. So like we just we driving along, headed back to the house, and he nailed it. And the car went right, and it went left. And we hit a ditch, we hit like a little ditch, and we hit like a fence, mm-hmm. and we just it just stopped. Like it wasn't, it was so quick. Like right, I'm right, talking right. about, we riding along, talking like me and you sitting here right, talking. Right. And I'm Next like, you know, and he like he decided he want to hit it, and, right. doo, doo, and I'm like, and shooting out, we stopped. I'm like, dang man, what in the world? Right. Anyway, to fast forward, so we go on to the hospital. I realized my ankle is fractured, or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, oh, okay, it's just ankle fracture. Like mm-hmm. it ain't nothing serious. You know, I'm trying to keep my mom. I'm like, man, it's, we, I'm good, man. Mm-hmm. Like y'all chill out, or whatever. Yeah. Like, and then it has my lip has split, so they mm-hmm. that look bad. So um, <clears throat> all that. So get the get the surgery done. Uh, I went to Doctor Andrews up in um up in Green Bay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I went up there and got the surgery done up in Wisconsin, and um. Shoot, everything, you know, it went from, so when I went up there to do the surgery, like when I came in, he was like, oh, yeah, it's just a um, fracture or whatever. Like, we'll get you in. You'll be back in about six months or whatever. It's a normal right. fracture. Right. And after the, after the surgery, he came back. When he came in after the surgery, he's like, yeah, man, that was, it was like, it was bad. It was worse than what I thought. Mm-hmm. He's like, your fracture was a lot lower than what a normal football fracture would be. Mm-hmm. So I had to put a rod in. I had to do a uh, tight rope and this and that. And, <clears throat> you know, but and you lost, he's like, you lost a lot of cartilage or whatever. He's mm-hmm. like, but you, we'll get you back. You know, it's still being optimistic, yeah, positive, of course. Positive, right? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, cool. You know, I'm like, man, I'm just coming off an ACL injury, like an ankle injury. Ain't, yeah. That ain't nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So 
I'm like, I'm just ready to get to rehab. Just like I was when I learned that I told my ACL. I'm like, all right, when, when, I, when can I have my surgery? When can I, you know, and they was like, oh, well, we'll get you rehab. So same thing with this. I was like, when it happened, I'm like, all right, so when I can have the surgery, where I need to go, all right, cool, like we're going uphill. So that's how it happened. Went up there, got the surgery. Dude said it was bad, worse than he thought. I'm like, all right, cool. So we leave, come back, rehab all year, all 2018. I rehab and I kept having them, like, it'll feel like it's getting better. And then I wake, you know, I wake up after a day of like running or something. I'm like, man, like I would, I got to the point where I would like get up earlier just to like soak my ankle and like put in some Epsom salt and some alcohol, like just to try to wake it. Like I used to get out of the bed, like, and this one of the days hmm. where I got to go run for the doctors, you mm-hmm. know, whatever they trying to decide if I'm about to, you know what I'm saying? Getting ready to come back. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, but I'm thinking that I'm thinking that the stiffness, I'm thinking that the pain and stuff is just all a part of, you know, just coming back off of the injury. Like, I got to fight through it. I got to uh, fight through it. But it's like, man, like, it, it joke used to be hurting, boy. Like I'm, I, and some days I go in there to uh, do my rehab, and I would tell them, like, they were like, I was like, man, I just shake my head no. And the uh, trainer, the head trainer at the time, like, he knew, like, you know, because even when I came back, like, they knew how bad it was. Like, they knew, like, yeah. right. they, they yeah, were like, yeah, yeah. you know, because as soon as I came back in, he pulled me in his office, and he was like, yeah, man, it was like, a, you know, the doctor's thinking that it could be career changing. Mm-hmm. We don't we don't think that or whatever. We think he don't know the Kendall Beckwith that we know. Right. So we feel like right, 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 they, right, trying right. To be, uh-huh. they trying to make sure they stay optimistic, right. stay positive. They're not, like, just ready to say, oh, the kid's career over. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, but right, right, right. I can kind of read between the lines, but right. it's like, even at the time, I'm like, oh, nah. Like, I don't. Think it's over until it's over. Like you right, know, what I'm right, saying, I'm right. like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be straight. Like yeah, doctor. Like yeah, he don't know me or whatever. Right, like right. I'm, I'll be straight. You right. know, so like I said, we started the process. Kept having them times where I feel like it's getting better. It get, it still hurt. Start back hurting. It start back hurting. It's just aching or whatever. So he got to the point. I actually practiced. I got, I built myself up to the point to where I could practice. Mm-hmm. But man, when I practice on turf. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm talking about it. Used to it's that same pain, like it hurt right. or whatever. And it was just because the turf don't give as much as the grass or whatever. Right. So, you know, with me losing losing a lot of cartilage, cartilage or whatever on the inside of my ankle, and bone, I'm pretty bone. much bone on bone right. now. Right, right. So that's what it is, and I'm not really fully understanding the whole cartilage thing right, and right. how important it really is or whatever. So, right, right, right. So, uh, <laughs> so like I'm steady going or whatever, and not understanding that that's where my pain's coming from. Like that's all that like pain you feeling like after a day of running or after hmm. you know, you know, pushing sleds or whatever I've been and did that right. that for rehab or whatever. It's like you know, and sometimes, like I said, it wasn't all the time, but. Man, after a long, after a tough day of rehabbing, like that joke was hurt, yeah, or whatever. So I started, I built my way up to the point that I would, pra- I could practice. So I had three weeks to decide I was gonna play. So I started practicing or whatever. Um, I could, you know, how you like, like I'm out here making plays or whatever, but I know I'm not a hundred percent. Like, mm-hmm. you know, it may even on film, it may look like I'm like, you know, what I'm saying. Like you, like you can play or whatever, but it's like deep down, I'm t- I'm knowing like, man, it just don't, something just don't feel right. Like it feels like I'm like stepping on like a foreign object or something. Mm-hmm. Like it don't feel as because the way I was judging it, it's like, man, it should feel like my other ankle, like a very much close to it. Right. So at the whole time, it's not feeling like that. So I practiced, and um, they came. They was like, man, so you you gonna play or like, what you thinking or whatever? And I was like, um. You know, I talked to my agent or whatever, and uh, and I was telling him the same thing. I'm like, man, Joe, I just don't feel like I'm a hundred. Like, like yeah, I, like it kind of been holding up or whatever, but it's still been hurting because mm-hmm. I practice. I would practice two days, like the hard days. I would practice. Let's say I practice Tuesday and Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thursday come around, I'm sitting out because I'm I'm sore. Right, I'm hurting, right, right, so it's like, nah, not today or whatever. Right. You know, so it's like, how how y'all even think? That I'm really ready to play, right, you know what I'm saying? Right, but right, right, right. I didn't fool them so so good that you know what I'm saying. Like I didn't winged it, I guess so good mm-hmm. to where it's like, dang, it kind of looked like you, you right. know. But I'm knowing, like I'm not, man, I'm right, not right, ready. Right, yeah. I'm not ready. Know so yourself, I, man. so right. I made the decision I was just gonna hold off to the next year or whatever. That was right. it. I was like, I right, just hold off next year, make sure I'm like right. you know ready. Hundred, right? So they was like, all right, cool, you know that's fine. Um, we'll just go back to the doctor at the end of the year just to check on it, recheck everything, and. We'll just go from there or whatever. Like, all right, cool. And time came after the season for us to go to the doctor. Went up there to the doctor. Went back to my doctor that did my surgery. And he was like, um, 
So he put my the picture up on the screen or whatever. He's like, yeah, so this is kind of what you're feeling. This is that ankle. This is your cartilage. You know, if you look at this normal ankle, this uh, normal ankle, look, this is yours. He's like, um, you know, that's probably where the pain's coming from. You know, and the trainer that I went up there with in the car, like right before we got to the doctor, he was like, Kelly, you think you're going to play football again? I'm like, hell yeah, I'm going to play football again. <laughs> like, man, I feel like I can play <laughs> right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm feeling like I can play right now because right. I haven't been doing any rehab. Right. I haven't had, like, this the end of the year. Right. I ain't been doing no, no real rehab. Right. Like, it's kind of been chill. Like, right. so it's feeling like, it's feeling all right. You right. know what I'm saying? But right. so I'm like, hell yeah, I can, I can, I'm going to play football. Like, yeah. I feel like I can play right now. Right. That was my words to him before we went and saw the doctor. So when the doctor explaining everything, I'm looking at it. And I'm like, dang, you know, and he like, he basically like, man, you know, if you was to sp- perhaps sprain this ankle, like it it may cause you to have a, another surgery. Like you might have to get an ankle fusion to stick your joints together so you mm. so you can mm. keep it from um rubbing, keep your joints from you know pounding on each other and rubbing together. Yeah. So he's like, man, you so young for that or whatever. He's like, you, well, he said you young for that. He said I hate to have to do that. And he said I would hate to have to do an, you too young for an ankle replacement or whatever. So. He's like, I mean, you can keep trying it out and see if it'll finally, you know, enable, allow you to play or whatever. He's like, but, you know, your risk, you know, of you coming down wrong or something, like, you're going to have to have another surge if you right. tweak wow. it. If you sprain this, if you sprain this ankle, mm-hmm. it's going to yeah. be a, a way worse than, it's going to be a right. worse sprain than a normal ankle. Right. right. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay. Um, I'm like, oh, well, I'm done then. Yeah. Sure, you like that. Now, that, that was the end of it. <laughs> that's how I made my decision. I was like, oh, I was like, oh, yeah. I was like, oh. So you that's made, kind of, and that's so how he you, just looked at You made, you made that's the how decision my, in, the, in the doctor's office. In the doctor's office. Like, <laughs> as I'm, because it made sense. I'm like, oh, no. Like, I'm, oh, I'm <laughs> like, oh, this right here? I'm like, that's okay, what I, because I'm like, that's why I be feeling like, <laughs> this is the pain. Like this, the pain. That, bro, this is hilarious. <laughs> this is the pain that I'm feeling. Right. And it's like, so it made sense. So it's like, oh, so now, like, even in the beginning, what they were saying and how they was like kind of iffy at the first, like now nah, it's all making sense. Like, oh, so it is pretty, it's pretty bad. Like, it's, like this ain't nothing that you know what I'm saying. So right, right. I'm like, okay, I'm like, oh well, I'm done. Um, and the trainer that was with me, like, oh, he's like, you, that's it. Like, you, you done? I'm like, yeah, man, I'm done. I'm like, I ain't playing no. I'm like, yeah, I ain't playing no. Um, I'm like, I ain't playing if it's gonna cause my uh my health or whatever. Like, man, yeah. I'm not um. I like man, I gotta be able to run around with my kids and stuff. Like I'm not uh oh, Lord. I like nah, it ain't that real to me. I'm right. uh, I like I'm done, man. Or whatever. Like yeah. Yeah. it was just like that. And yeah, man, so we we left out of there. Dog, I love it, bro. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, this is exactly how it went. And we left out of there. After I after I met my doctor, we left out of there. And shoot, we went to the stadium. I had me a nice turkey sandwich and fries. <laughs> Good turkey sandwich. Good turkey sandwich up there at that stadium. Like, and the uh, trainer was talking to me. And uh, <laughs> the trainer, like, he was talking to me and just saying, like, you know, he, you know, he ain't expecting me to right, say that. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. But it's like, you know, he was, we was talking or whatever. We chopped it up. And, um, I was like, yeah, you know, man, I'm not like if it's stuff. Basically, like I like I'm saying to y'all, like it's like, man, I'm not this ain't if it's jeopardizing my health. Like yeah, I'm done. Yeah, I'm got, good yeah, on it. Years I'm done, good man. on it. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm like, man, I got a long life to live. I got. Uh-huh. I want to be able. To, I hate to like. I want to be able to at least try to catch my kid. Like if he take off right. or something like that. Like right. I don't want to be limping up behind right. them right. if right. I can right. help it. Right. And at this point, this sound like I could help it. Yeah. I just <laughs> keep myself from. Potentially being in that state or whatever, mm-hmm. right. and then then you talking about riding horses, all, all that, man. All you that. need to use the stirrups, man. Like, yeah, yeah ain't, ain't no I gotta put, man. and it bothers me. Yeah, like right, even right, now, right. like right, you know right, what I'm saying, right, like right, right, right. even now, like riding a long time, my, it, it bothers uh, me. Right, you know, right, if right. I'm out there like training them or whatever, like uh-huh. good thing I most a lot of time I stay in my um my round pen in the sand, uh-huh, right, 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 because so they kind of give me like a little cushion. But as far as being on the ground. Yeah, it bothers me, yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? I, I would hate for it to have been worse. You keep playing right. or something like that. Exactly. I don't even have all up. my range of like my, all my range of motion is not there, or whatever. Right, right, but right, right, right. you know, that was like the thing. It's like, why would I keep playing or try to keep playing on that if I know it's gonna it hurt like hell? Right, like, right, right. It don't yeah. nothing about it feels normal no more. Wow. <laughs> so why would I even try to? I'm not gonna finish. I, like I said, I hate being. Uh, and I don't like that embarrassed feeling. Right, 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 like, right, 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 right. I'm not gonna go ahead and embarrass myself. <laughs> right, that's oh, right. No, I'm like, nah, this this is over with. I love and um, it. so <laughs> we went <laughs> after that. I called my little brother. I like, yeah, JB, I'm done, man. I was like, yo, you done? And I like, yeah, bro. I'm. They tell me, I'm looking at the, the screen and stuff, man. Like my ankle, 
this and that. Like, man, I'm telling him all this thing. Like, man, my stuff don't even, that's why my stuff ain't been feeling right. Mm-hmm. right. That's why you I hurt like it right, hurt. Right, right, right. Right. Like, this is a pain I ain't never felt, like, the way this thing be hurting. So it's like, he like, man, well, if you done, oh, well, man. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 like, right. he, 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 right. <laughs> he a rider. Um, <laughs> so I called my parents. You know, I think they took it kind of hard. Like, you done. It's, it was hard for them to process at mm-hmm, first. Mm-hmm. So they felt like I needed a second opinion. So I'm like, all right, okay, cool. I do a sec- I get a second I opinion. I get one. I get one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and right. So I rehab in Pensacola. And um, so I went back out to Pensacola <laughs> and let, a, let a, uh, a specialist out there look at my ankle or whatever. And um, well, I didn't rehab. I didn't. I rehab for my ACL in Pensacola. Mm-hmm. I went out. That was the second best doctor, ankle doctor that they knew of at the mm-hmm. time. Right. That was out in Pensacola. So I went back to Pensacola, and um, that doctor, when he saw my ankle, he was like, he was like, man, like this with me, my parents sitting there. He was like, man, how you even? He's like, man, you um. He's like, do you like biking and like rowing and stuff? Mm-hmm. He's like, man, because. You don't need to be You don't need to do no running on this thing uh, Like wow. you don't need to Um, You need to start biking And try to start like Get you a row machine Like he's like man any Low impact right. Wow He's like please Like he's like Cause I don't see Cause when he Even when he saw my ankle Like he When he did it He like He did my He did like the little movement and stuff And checked my range of motion He's like dang You got way more range of motion Than what I Would think that you would have mm-hmm. right. he's Like so you can tell That you the rehab good Right He's like, but man, this thing is like, he was like, kind of like, it's kind of like, it's, it's, you know, bad in the inside of, and I kind of looked at my mom and them and I just laughed. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I, just, I'm like well, I told y'all. I'm like, well, I like anything. I like, I was like, so uh, to even be more convincing to them, I'm like, so I like, man, how much basketball you think I could play? Like, if I want to play basketball, mm-hmm. you think I could like steal a hoop or whatever? Mm-hmm. And uh, he's like, man, he's like, how much hooping you plan on doing? <laughs> just a little bit or whatever. He's like, man, I just, he like, I, I mean, that'd probably be fine as long as you could stand it or whatever. He's like, but man, don't, yeah, you know, I wouldn't overdo it, you know, and I wouldn't, you know, you might want to play basketball on the ground and not no concrete and <laughs> stuff like that. But it's like, I'm like, you know, so I, right, right. I told you, right. I told right. y'all, I, 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 you know, and. Shoot, even they, even after that, I don't think they still like they can wrap their mind <laughs> right. around. It's like, man, you know, and I understand and it's, that. It's I understand hard. it for me right now. It's not not right now because I understand, but it would be hard for me to wrap my mind around you making a decision like that. Yeah, like you even and now hearing the whole story from the beginning, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and see, that's saying? the that's I guess that's yeah, yeah. That's the yeah, thing. I, I get it. I get it. Mm-hmm. I, we, we like to we like to. Tell that conversation about after ball, yeah. Too because different people have different takes. We got different takes from Fave and from Glenn, but but to even hear this is refreshing. To just be like, you know, I'm absolute with it. Like, okay, cool, I'm done. I'm, I'm done That's with it. it. I and, didn't and think twice. I didn't think about going. Yeah, I ain't got no feelings. Feet, I, ain't got no try. Yeah. I didn't. I haven't. Like, I literally did not think twice about. It. I was like, oh yeah, I'm. That's yeah. it. That's yeah. it, just like that. See, mm-hmm. And now, and now, some of them things that you know we hear about as like fans or whatever, like that, uh, like like just say like Patrick Willis, man, like mm-hmm. he just up and and called it a career out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or, or like uh, with, with Vontae Davis, maybe a yeah. couple of years ago, he just mm-hmm. he left at halftime, right? Like he rolled, like I'm out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that was it. Like he just hung it up. Right. Yeah, like yeah. so. So now, now that's, that's it, how he it, it, if he kept playing, that's how he'd have finished. He'd be like, okay, yeah, at halftime, been, I'm done. Yeah, I, I think so. I think, yeah, so. I think, I'm, I think so. I'm tired. Of man, I'm this stuff hurt. Yeah. <laughs> done. Kendall, yeah. Kendall probably would have left at halftime. He probably wouldn't left at halftime and went setting the stands. I got a turkey sandwich. This has been refreshing for me, bro, because it's it's a totally different perspective. When you hear sometimes people that are, are broke down, different things you have to deal with, but the absoluteness of it. Mm-hmm. But I think it comes from a, a resolve from the beginning. Mm-hmm. It comes from having a resolve, and that just goes through through your life, and, yeah. and, and so it affects everything. Yeah. And now you don't have the trauma or the regrets. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. The, right. You know what I'm saying? All those different things that you that, that sometimes people can deal with. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it doesn't sound like it was ever on a pedestal for you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No. Again with. No. Like no. like so it wasn't just, no letdown. It, right. I mean it, nah. it, 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 you can you can feel it's somewhat of a cuz you think about it but it, the way you said I mean it up, as far as the com, I would say like I say I I feel like the training that I had had yeah. about to put you in that. In that I, right. It was gonna put me on a whole new level. level I right. was just really getting really comfortable with football and stuff. Uh-huh. Like right, 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 really, right, right, right. I'm really coming into my own. Absolutely. Or whatever. Right, 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 so right, it's right. like 
I wanted to see what was gonna happen. Yeah, right, 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 that right. year or whatever right, with right. The, all you know the work what I had put, put in. in right, but right. it's like, man, shoot, <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> 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 it hurts. It hurts. Hey, hey, that's a word. That's a word. <laughs> yeah. if, I can't, if I can't do it, I, I, I can't, can't do just it. Can't, I can't do it. I, in a physical form, I mean, it's yeah, like, right. man, I ain't. Yeah, man. And one thing I learned, from I got my mind. So right, yeah, I, I got. I still got my mind. I still got my most powerful asset. Absolutely. So. It's like it was a no brainer for right, me, man. I'm like, right. I'm done. I, I ain't. <laughs> That's so man, funny. Be really good. <laughs> One thing I learned from him, like oh, just just in, in general, like learn from, learn from learn from Kendall in general. Yeah. Even even now, um, the fact that we go back to the NFL scouts could could not figure him out. Yeah. So mm-hmm. if. If yeah. like young athletes listen to this, you, I always tell you you have a story to tell. Yeah, like yeah. you do. And so even young athletes are figuring this out. If uh, listening to this, if someone can figure you out, then you may not be on the right track. All right. Mm-hmm. You went against the grain. Yeah. So the reason they had a hard time uh, trying to figure you out is no way this guy could be this talented and this gifted. Yeah. But just kind of like, but we can't put a finger on it. We can't on. put yeah. a finger on it's it. Like, so uh, you, when you go against the grain like that, and I think when you did that, things came to you, right? Mm-hmm. When you didn't go after success, mm-hmm. success just came to you. Like all those yeah. awards came to you. E- even now, um, every time though, me, every right? time, right. like no. it literally. And I mean, that's, that's, that's a principle of life. Yeah. That I, I think is just a polarity thing. You start drawing stuff to you. Mag- mm-hmm. Magnets don't have to do anything. They just be a magnet. Right. Right. And right. stuff is just going to come to them. Right. And I think, uh, not to prolong it, but once we drop all these other things, and let ourselves get to that that true self. I'm good. I'm content. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna be me. That's it. Then it start drawing. Yeah. Be the best me. Uh, like still, yeah. like still gonna be the best. That's me. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Like, stop that. Still gonna be great. Right, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, right, like, right. All that. It was like, a lot like you said earlier. Like you said, like like when you go into a lunch room, like you're not you're not going to sit with nobody. Like you, nah, you gonna chill. <laughs> yeah, thing, I'm man. gonna go chill. I go and, chill and by myself. Whoever and whoever come up, come up. Whoever come up. I tell you. I tell you. I go sit at the table that got one person over there. Yeah. Yeah. We, we may talk or we may not. Uh, right. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's, <laughs> hey, I'll t- go. tell, tell you what, that's a conversation. That's a conversation. This is a conversation that's going to be wonderful to be heard over the years. Mm-hmm. But, but the conversation ain't going to end on Evergreen Pots. I'm just letting you know now yeah, yeah. that there's some things that you're going to need to be saying yes. to different people, not, yeah. not just athletes. Yeah. Yeah. Straight there up. are people that get strung out on different careers. Yeah. And then they, they, they're so strung out on that career. That they, and they may be what they're supposed to do, but it's not. They're not letting close the mind off. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm so, so thankful. My mind, yeah, it, it's just my mind had it never closed off, and it it, it stayed open right. throughout it all. Yep. And right. I yep. and I. That can't be nothing but God. And number you know God. Ain't nothing but God. Ain't nothing but God. That's you know what I'm saying? Just like because even it sounds crazy. It's like, dang, you ain't. So that's how that happened. You just did it like, or you just like, man, that was it. Yep. That's exactly how it went. That's how I was thinking about it. Like, <laughs> went I'm just like I'm, that. I'm, I'm a bit branded in my mind. I'm like, after the, so I'm it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like <laughs> stuff come to you, right? Right, right, right? So as I'm like, you know, I'm going through that whole thing with rehabbing. I'm keep having setbacks because I keep they keep thinking that you'll come back this day, this week. You know, you're supposed to come back this week, but it's looking like you ain't finna come back this week. So I keep having these setbacks. I practice, I don't, you know, I'm still not, you know, quite ready to play or whatever. Right. Whole time or whatever, I discovered um Rich Dad Poor Dad, the mm-hmm. uh, book or whatever. Yeah. And um so man, yeah. perfect time. Change your life. Perfect time. Yeah, like yeah. I got all this extra I ain't I never had to sit around as much as I did with that injury. I get mm-hmm. like I was a I was to myself a lot with uh-huh. that injury, with that mm-hmm. with my ankle thing or whatever. And I was out in Tampa or whatever, so I didn't have family just around or right, you know. Right, right. So, man, I, and, you know, I started reading that, and it opened my mind up. It Absolutely. opened my mind up even more, and, like, to the possibilities of, you know, and just, you know, shoot. There's so much more, man. <laughs> right. All that, like, it's so, just, much, it's more, so much more. Yep. Like, that's yep. what I realized. So, it's yep. like, man, so literally, like, as soon as that, that little chapter closed, I was on to that. And like, I knew I had, I, I had an idea. That I wanted to do something with real estate. I knew I wanted to make my money work. Wow! Like I knew that. Like I was right. like, yeah, I, I got to make my money work, man. Right, 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 make right, it work right. for me. Yep. Like I'm. Mm-hmm. That's yep, that's what's next yep. for me. Like yep. I'm, you know, I'm gonna be my own, you know, boss. So I'm gonna do my own thing. Right. Henceforth, right. you know right, what I'm right, saying. Right, right. So that's so, kind of where I've been at. So tell the people about your business right now and the name of it as yeah. well. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So um, me and my uh fian- my now fiance, we started a real estate company, um, Meraki Realty. And uh, 2020, at the beginning of 2020, and um, shoot, it's kind of took a lead of its own. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. 
I mean, it's been some learning. It's definitely a learning. We're learning something new with every deal that we get. Um, but uh, we definitely much more happy that we started, you know, our investing journey. Absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, um, we started our investing journey, you know, last year or whatever. And should we steady moving forward? And yep. that is like. We we having fun with it, man. Like no, it's, it's like it's, another like it's a whole new passion right. of mine. Yeah. And it is like it's hella cool. Like yeah. it's cool, it's fun. So so what is it centered around? Is it like um is it commercial? Is it so it's um or? it's it's centered around uh, residential. Okay. Residential yep. Yep. um okay. um houses right now. But we wanna get into like the commercial side of things. Absolutely, yeah. We wanna get into there. every Let's field, every part of uh real estate that we can get into. Not gonna lie, you you being out in Clinton, I thought of you y'all was like like them land banks, yeah. like trying to sell them, them big <laughs> them, you know, them yeah. pastures trying to sell uh, pastures and yeah. stuff like that. Uh, oh no, no, no. We um so we have a we got properties in Denham Springs. Um okay. we got property Zachary, we got property in Baker, we got property down in Baton Rouge. Um. So we got a we got a few we got a few um houses few doors that we got going or whatever and we steady 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 growing man steady progressing like yeah, we ain't, love so we ain't tell them stop. tell them where they can find find you find you guys on Instagram oh you can find us at um at Meraki Realty um that's what it is yeah Mar- uh, Maraca Realty Maraca? LA yeah this this let me right see here. it we're gonna put it on the screen we, <laughs> we can put it on the screen yeah. <laughs> Oh, I know what's Mar- what's Meraki? Meraki, Meraki, Meraki um, is a Greek word. Mm-hmm. Um, it's the essence of us that we put into our work. Love, um, it. Love it. So it's like basically putting a piece of you into your work. Like we not like so basically what we're doing right now. Like we're getting these. Pro- we're finding these properties below value. Um, we're mm-hmm. renovating them. Yep. You know, adding that equity back to them. Yep. And uh, should we take them? Do cash out refinance with them? And we find tenants with tenants for them. We need to do an evergreen. So I would, right our thing is, really? <laughs> our thing is, um, like we're not gonna. So when we talk about the stuff that we put into our work, like we're not gonna let someone stay in a home of ours that's not, you know, up to up, par. Up to par yeah, you know what I'm saying? Care, like yeah. we want you to live yeah, as yeah. comfortable as possible, you know. So that's what we're doing right now, man. We going we buying, we buying as much as we can buy. Right. Let's go. And we gonna keep up. buying as much as we can buy, and we trying to partner with whoever we can Straight partner up. with. And I love it. We gonna keep it moving. We gonna and keep it growing. We are gonna build an empire. And think about it. I'm since since I'm family, and because I, I want to learn about this stuff too. Since I'm family, like um, I'm putting you on spot right now. I'm gonna drive to Zach one day, and uh, you gonna take me and teach me about this stuff. Yeah, I can yeah. do that. Oh yeah, you gonna I teach me about that. stuff. So okay. I love to do that. Yeah, I, that's cause. another thing. Like like you say, we don't we don't get that coming through. You know, no, we don't. We don't. We don't. <laughs> we don't. College, we, especially us. Investing, <laughs> right? In, us. Man, investing. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right. Invest, man. Yeah. Invest, like you don't do nothing, nothing else. Invest. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like man, it ain't talked about. It's not a right. cool topic, but it's like it's one of those things, one of those life hacks. You know, it's how to life rich get richer. The rich get richer, and you know, the way the generational wealth, man, is yeah. like by investing. You gain. You got to make that money go out there and work for you. Right. Make it work at the end it. of the day, don't work for it. Make it work for you. Make it work for you, man, and right. make it grow. But no, I'm serious though. I'm, I'm coming. Yeah. Let's do yeah, it. Let's do it. Cause I think that's the thing. But we want to. Yeah, no, 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 no. Like that's so. We can only. I'm not, I'm not playing with you. Though. Us being <laughs> us being. You know, we're you know we're still a smaller company or whatever. Like we only could buy. No, no, no. I buy. No, 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 no. No, our buy power. You know, smaller company. Well, I was I was I was thinking as far as like our buy power, like you know. We have to miss out on deals because it's like we, you know, we are filled up right now. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We can't, we can't fit nothing else on the schedule. Like, right. and it's like, so that's like we want to start partnering with people. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, we absolutely. gotta. Oh, yeah, we, that's yeah, the yeah, way yeah. to grow our business and right. grow, you know, someone else's business. Like, that's the way. If you want to get into it, that's the way you get right. started. You know what I'm saying? You could partner with us, and we'll take you through it, and we gonna shoot, we gonna grow together. Sounds good. I love yeah. it. I love. Hey, this has been. The evergreen pod, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. this is evergreener than ever. You know what I'm saying? Like this has been great, man. We appreciate you coming by. Yeah, I appreciate bro. y'all having me. I finally made it. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Mama made it. Mama made it. Finally made it, man. Nah, man finally made this, it on evergreen. This, this man. is a blessing for us to get get you on this yeah. early. You know what I'm saying? We had a plug. You know what I'm saying? So we had a plug and everything. Yeah. But it's been good, man. We appreciate hearing everything, man. This has been great. I think people are gonna enjoy this. I want to hear a lot of athletes and young athletes and just people in general. To hear this Because there's a story And like I say I'm going to say this to you Before I close out That you got more to say So be prepared to say more We Yeah, we, yeah. But one Doug, thing, one Dougie thing try to Dougie be saying that You know Dougie try to get me to 
Talk more. I'm not. This that's be, the last be, thing. Be, the last be, thing is me, that bro. I'm just not. Yeah. <laughs> I, see, I'm just not like that. I'm not that camera. I'm not that camera guy. But I'm that's not that. Why. I, I'm not that in front of the scenes that's guy. Why. Like mm-hmm. that's why though. Like if I do something for somebody, like you don't have to tell me thank you. Like yeah, I don't, like you know. Right. It's like man, I, it's good. Like it's from the heart. Like I move from my heart and and that right. That's what it is. That's why it worked out. It's what. That's what it is. Like I don't. I don't. That's it. Look for and that's like that was the thing with football. Like I wasn't looking to be like glorified or like you know just be in the spotlight. Like I love being on the you know the, I like to be in the cut. Like yeah. I ain't right, right. I'm not with the cameras or none of that. I don't need no accolades, none of that. Right. Like and I, I and it might be easy for me to say that because I've I've had that and you know I kind of had that experience you know mm-hmm. playing sports or whatever throughout my uh, life so far. And but man, I ain't nothing like that backseat. Yeah. Me. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> back seat. Like I'm I'm good in the back. Like I don't need like, you know, I'm all about helping people and just trying to make everybody better, man. Let's That's do it, man. Right. Let's do it. Listen, this has been the Evergreen Pod. Y'all follow us on Instagram, Evergreen underscore pod, right? It's what it is, Dougie? It's free to follow, it's right? It's free to follow, man. <laughs> to follow. But and another thing too, man, like a YouTube channel, man. Go to go support. Yeah. Even if you don't watch it, just go to our YouTube channel. Tell them, tell them, tell them what you're talking Just about. go to our YouTube channel, Evergreen Pod. Hit the subscribe button. Even yes, if you, even if you don't want to watch the YouTube, it's just about hey, yo. supporting, supporting us, man. Just support. So friends and family, yeah. go to our YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button, man. Because I obviously tonight's episode, you're gonna see why uh this is so important. Tell them what we on TikTok now, ain't we? Oh, we on TikTok too. So So you can follow us on TikTok we ain't dancing, too. Uh, and we're not doing no dancing, we straight uh, information, yeah, uh, information that, that that people People need um, everybody can uh, look kids, uh, 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 young adults, old adults. We get all kind of audience, all, people, all, yeah, all, all kind of audience, man. We have I have people texting me through every tick time I post a TikTok. A guy named uh, Jared Dupar, wow, uh, he Shout sends me the TikToks and he's like, "Hey, man, this is this is good material." So yeah, man, let's go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. Free man. to follow, man. Free, Free to, to follow, subscribe. Man. So all yeah. that good stuff. Yeah, yeah. follow us on. Uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, Google Podcasts, wherever podcasts are. Um, we're just all over, man. So y'all follow us. This has been the Evergreen Pod, and uh, we appreciate y'all. We'll see y'all next time.